Hello and welcome to Gavin Media. Hopefully it's all going okay and I'm live. Let me know if you can hear me and see me and so forth. <laughs> all going well. Uh, so you can see on the screen what we're doing today. Uh, I'll give you a chance to hopefully there's, there's a few viewers on, so hopefully it's all working. It's it's difficult to know uh, these days. It seems to always mess up for me. But today. It seems to be working. Hello, Zed, Luna, Lotus, Urban Sunny Ray, Mass Upload, uh, Wildeny Rigo, Combi Chan, Andrew Barlow. <laughs> nice to see you all. Uh, Nikolai Bruce Hansen. Ah, cool. You're playing around with text painting. Well, that's perfect because we're going to do some text painting today. So maybe I'll answer your questions then. Um, Irwin Sunny Ray. Frank, nice to see you on here. <laughs> just seeing what's uh, going on and how everybody is because there seems to be quite a lot of lag that took forever it's felt like for my screen to change to this so I don't know it may take a while for your questions and text to come through but uh, hopefully we're, we're all good how's remote teaching going well Andrew it's uh, it's interesting <laughs> Uh, I'm choosing to sort of stream like this because, uh, well, today is when I'm supposed to be at school. Um, so hopefully there'll be a, a few students on asking questions, but I thought, uh, and uh, my school and college where I work, they were happy for me to open it up to the world. So here you all are. <laughs> all the world, except there's not quite the world here. But uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll crash YouTube, hopefully. Um, so yeah, um, this what we're doing today is uh, what I would be doing with my class. Uh, so they've got a brief um, which is to make game characters, and this is the year 12s. So year 13s have a sort of environment design brief, and we say year 12 and year 13. It's sixth form in the UK, and they're about uh, 16 to 19, sort of between there. So the year 12s, as we call them, are um, 16, and uh, up to sort of. 19 and year 13 sort of it, it varies um, so the year tw uh, the year 12s are doing um, uh, game assets and they can choose characters that they want uh, and uh, so I thought I'd go along this line of how to make really sort of simple easy characters there's two ways of doing it here and we'll go through those and it's supposed to be a follow along lesson so uh, see if you can follow along with me and um, we'll see how we go I've just noticed I haven't put my lights on so I'm just going to quickly do that so um, the green screen works a bit better I'll be back in a second. There we go. Oh, I'm a bit overexposed now, but uh, hopefully that's all right. Um, yeah, without the lights, uh, you can see all my freckles and then that's just no good, is it? <laughs> anyway, so um, I'll just answer a few questions first and then we'll get going. In fact, before I do that, um, so your challenge then, uh, you're going to try and make um, a silly little monster like this. Um, so this one here is the start one. Uh, let's get layout. There we go. Um, and zoom in. So just have a go at making some um, silly, um, odd looking uh, monsters. Uh, see if you can get the shape. What I did, I'll show you the starting um, process and then I'll come back and answer a few questions in a second when you're following along. So shift A to, uh, um, to sorry, Shift right click to move my cursor into position. Shift A to add and I start with a cube. Okay, start with a cube and I'll press control one. Anybody know what control one does? Control one, what did it just do? Oh, look at that. What is? What have we got here? It's weird, it didn't move to quite where I wanted to. Right, we'll move it into position and we'll scale it up a bit. So what did it just do when I press control one? Yeah, we, this may not work if there's such a big massive lag, uh, <laughs> but whoever gets there first gets a gold star. So it's going to be good. <laughs> Added subdivisions, indeed. So you were first into pixel, gold star for you. <laughs> I like to make this a silly sort of lesson uh, and have some fun. Yes, indeed, it's subdivided by one. So if we go across to the modifiers over here, we can see that we've added a subdivision surface mod modifier with viewport of one. OK, so we've got a sort of rounded cube. Uh, now, depending on what you want to do with your character, uh, you can then start editing this, but remember, this is, these are game assets, so they've got to be low poly. So if I go up to, let's say, three subdivisions, uh, we're starting to get a bit high poly there. 
So watch out for that. I would say keep it to one to start with uh, and see how you're going. Oh, um, subscribers. I was going to turn that alert off. I'm not sure about the subscriber alerts. Um, and I'm not sure. Oh, it's just going to have to stay. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Uh, because uh, they could just be people watching my channel. Anyway, so I'm going to turn the sound down on that a bit. Uh, but not that I uh, don't like people subscribing, of course. Anyway, so uh, we've got um, a, um, a subdivision surface modifier on there. And let's make a funny, weird shape. Let's go to face mode and then extrude this out and then scale it in. And we've got the basis of a really basic, basic, basic character. Uh, maybe I'll do a subdivision down here and down there and down there. I'm pressing Control R for loop cut. Okay, so Control R and create those loop cuts. It went a bit fast there, actually. This is a beginner session, I forgot. Um, the beginners to intermediate. So Control R will create a loop cut. Left click and you can move it across and um, any way you like. And right click will just set it in place. So Control R, left click, and then left click again, and you'll get a loop cut. And one down here. And then maybe I'll do one. Where shall I do the next one? Uh, well, what we can do, uh, in fact, um, I'll, yeah, so I'll answer a few questions. <laughs> There's lots of subdivisions, sub, 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 subdivide. It's awesome. Uh, I'm glad everybody's getting involved. That's great. Uh, so uh, try and see if you can make a shape like this. Don't worry about uh, these silly things sticking out of it. Don't worry too much about the eye if you can't do that yet. Have a go, though, uh, and I'll answer a few questions whilst you're working on that. So start with a cube and subdivide it with one. So that was control one I pressed. If I get rid of that, you'll see control one. No, that's in it in object mode. Oh, I don't know what I did there actually. No, that's right. Uh, in object mode, control one. There we go. Must be an object mode. Right. So what are some of these questions? What are people asking? Uh, so hello. Yes, sir. So at Grant Abbott, uh, if you have a question and then I'll see it highlighted in um, orange. <laughs> Um, can we get files somewhere? We're making them. We're making them. We don't need the files. You're, you're just making them today. You're, we're on Blender, so you will need Blender. Download Blender um, from blender.org. Uh, and what else have we got? Uh, I need them credit hours. I need them credit hours. <laughs> Mass upload. Pay them light bill. <laughs> What's going on? Um, uh, yeah, no, we don't want to talk about that, Dave. Dave V. <laughs> <laughs> it was streaming live and uh, uh oh no uh, that's streaming math with markers on the window in half-life huh? interesting i didn't see that that's an interesting one saw some we weird ones um <laughs> any other questions whilst you're making your own version of this do you use cloth simulation feature a lot or do you prefer using sculpt for stuff like fabrics or cloth um, I tend to use the sculpting tools, but I would like to have more of a go with the cloth features. I was thinking of doing that for maybe a toilet roll that's running away from people. We were th talking about that in a few streams ago, uh, that that would be quite a fun one to model, wouldn't it? Um. <laughs> uh, Frank, uh, I'm not sure about that particular question. I'll leave that one for now. <laughs> Uh, can you advise uh, me to buy which graphics card to use in Blender 2.8 for Windows 8? For Windows 8, I have no idea because um, it's, it's fairly old now, isn't it? So I don't know which one's supported. You'll, you'll have to do a bit of research there. But uh, the ones I would recommend, in fact, Wacom would probably work. The Wacom one, there is actually a link, and this is an affiliated uh, link in the description. Uh, Wacom's probably your best bet because it's... Um, compatible with most most things uh, do you think that auto mirror on the aliens would be useful exactly that that was my next thing I was going to do so I think uh, mirroring is a good idea so if you had the auto mirror add-on you can easily uh, and edit um, where the where the heck's it gone preferences uh, which is all the way up here uh, add-ons and then type in auto or just mirror or something auto mirror make sure that's ticked there and then when you close this down, you'll have the auto mirror enabled and you press N and go to edit and there's auto mirror. And what it does, um, it will do what I'm about to do automatically. So um, you get, if you want to do it manually, you have to select half your mesh. It's probably easiest to do that in wireframe. So I press Z on my keyboard to get this up or Z on my keyboard to get this up. Uh, and a graphics card, not graphics tablet. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, 
graphics card for Windows? I don't. Again, I don't know. I'm assuming uh, um, Nvidia is still your best bet, but it probably won't be supported for that much longer. Windows 8. So um, maybe if you can move on. Uh, wireframe. So, yeah. So and then we can select half our mesh. We delete it. Delete faces. This is what the auto mirror does automatically. And then I can add a modif modifier. Go down to mirror and it creates a mirror on the other side and it's in, I'm just going to hide my subserve, it's in the x-axis. Now you must remember that it mirrors around that pivot point, center point there. So if your shape is off slightly then your mirror might look weird. Or if you've rotated your shape or something it might be in the other axis. So if you're actually looking at it from this way you might need to untick the x and tick the y instead. Okay. Now you only have to do half your mesh. So hopefully you're all creating these beautiful things. Do uh, get onto the Discord. So um, in the, um, let's just see where we are. We've got um, Grant's Corner live stream channel. If you go into here, you can then see uh, what uh, people are saying. So um, post, uh, post your pictures is what I mean in there. So uh, I want to see your progress, see how you're getting on with your monsters. Take a screenshot, chuck it in here, and let me know how you're doing. Uh, that'll be quite fun, won't it? Oh, what am I doing there? Um. <laughs> uh, your um, your questions, Frank, keep getting uh, um, alerted, and I have to show them because uh, you're talking about hitting a wife and all sorts. <laughs> YouTube doesn't like it. Um, what else have we got? Uh, yep. So, oh, the other thing. Yes, good point. Thank you very much, uh, Dry Penguin. You have a gold star for saying clipping. Yep. If you turn clipping on. So if I don't turn clipping on and I select all and grab in the x-axis, G then X, and move it across, there's a big gap. So I'll undo that. If I press clipping and press G then X, it sticks together. In fact, if I just press G, it will go like this, which um, would be fun to animate, wouldn't it? Okay, so how are we making this character? Um, show me how you're getting on, people. You want to see some awesome stuff. Dark side, ask the question. All oh, right. Okay. Um, we're all good. Um, is there use for no clipping? Uh, y yes. If you let's say, um, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll go into uh, solid mode again. Let's say I uh, what I, what what have I done that's gone a bit weird? Right. I've done a loop cut around here. I'll undo this in a second. Hey, <laughs> well done, Pez. I can see your stuff on the Discord. Discord link is in the description. Hopefully that one works. I think I updated it. And let's say I grab this and move it inwards. And um, now I think, oh, actually, I don't want it there. I want it out here. Grab, and I can't because it's stuck in the middle. So I turn clipping off and I can move it back. There may be a situation as well if you, I'll undo my loop cut there. Uh, let's say I've got the clipping off and I grab this over here and I want to then um, turn clipping back on and then extrude uh, G to grab in the X. Oh, extrude. There's two there now, isn't there? I think I'm gonna undo a few steps there. <laughs> um, uh, what was I doing? E, then X. There we go. And now I can, um, so I can move them apart and then fill the faces in. So there's lots of times you might want to use, uh, not use clipping, uh, turn clipping off and on. Basically, is what I'm saying. Just having a look at what people are saying. Cool, um, dissing. Windows 8. Oh, look, look, we got some cool stuff happening. We got some cool stuff happening. What's happening here with uh, Ben22403? <laughs> He's got uh, circle happening and all sorts. Um, so, uh, well done, Pez. Liking that start there. Good stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, looking good. Uh, show me what you got, guys. Show me what you got. <laughs> We're having fun. Um. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my one has a, a silly sort of bum on him. Um, I thought that'd be quite fun. <laughs> I don't know why, I just thought, let's put an arse crack there. <laughs> um, uh, sir, can you make videos making some, I don't know why I'm putting a voice on here, dark side, sorry. Sir, can you make uh, videos of making some cool simulations without using materials? Cool simulations without using materials. Um, oh, I see, so uh, not with materials, but so... Uh, fluid simulations and smoke simulations, maybe in the future, um, but I need to look up at Mantaflow a lot more than I have so far. Um, weirdly, I'm liking this shape now, so I'm going to go with this shape for my character. 
when you're doing a leg, it's a good idea to have a, a space in the middle here when you're doing a leg. And occasionally, um, you might want to G then Z and do your leg from here like this. So those two there, E to extrude. I mean, it could have four legs, this one. Uh, that would be quite fun. But <laughs> that, was, that was very quick, Michael. And it looks very familiar. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, acronym, I like this. This is good. Uh, but Michael, now, I'm not sure. <laughs> Cleverly done. Cleverly done. So I'm assuming that's a screenshot and you haven't just made exact an exact replica of mine. <laughs> you made another one, did you? Not sure which is your favourite. That's good. I like it. Uh, it, you'd do well in my class because that's the, exactly the sort of silliness that they get up to. Disgraceful. Uh, what's the difference between subdivision surface and multi-resolution modifier? Well, generally you use the subdivision surface modifier because it just, let me think, uh, because you can see the the original shape and you can modify it. The multi, basically, multi-resolution modifier is only for sculpting. Uh, that's how I use it anyway, unless someone else can think of some special idea, but that's how I would use it. Yep. Let's see what else is everybody saying. We're having fun. Okay, so I'm going to talk a bit whilst people are getting on with this. Um, well, maybe I'll I'll do a bit more with my character. Um, at this point, I'll scale Z zero, and it will squash them in, and then I can grab it down like this, and then extrude again, and then maybe scale those out. So it's got a weird lumpy feet at the bottom, and then extrude. Z, so we're having a different character this time with weird feet. So I actually don't like that though. I can then grab this one and this one and scale in the Y what? to bring those back. Oh, he's looking good. He's looking good. I've, it, I'm tempted to just keep going with that. But so there's there's some ideas for you about um, how you could make a new character, uh, which is better than this one. I don't really like this one that much anyway. I think it's rubbish. Um, what Discord channel do we post in? It's the live stream channel. So thanks very much for that. I'll just show you that again. So it's under, so there's um, Grant's Corner just there and there's live stream channel. Ta-da. So uh, let's see what else people have done. I know we haven't got any more. We've just got this weird one. I don't I don't really like what you've done there, uh, Michael94. I don't think they're very good models. I prefer mine. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, yes, this is good. Uh, Combi, I like this sort of mushroom guy. Oh, it could be a big hat though, couldn't it? Oh, I love it. This is good. So let's really get creative. Right, what I've got as well, and uh, if you're one of my students, have I got any students on? Do give us a shout. You don't have to, uh, because you might think, oh, there's 165 people I'd be shouting out to. Uh, but no one really worries, But um, uh, and they're all very friendly. But if you wanted to say anything or shout out, then do um, shout out. Um, uh, you might even be under a different alias on here. That doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you are one of my students then what I would encourage you to do is to make a mood board um, I'd encourage any, anybody to do this this is the first stage so let's say we're making game um, the the brief that they've got the, the year 12s I never actually said this no um, but they've got either future wars that they've got to make game assets for fantasy battles <laughs> stupid names I made up sorry about this and cutie cute kindergarten uh, so uh, you can get the idea of that there's sort of three sci-fi or fancy or um, weird, fun characters that go in a, uh, like these monsters you can see on the screen. So here's a really rubbish mood board. And I would expect from my students to have absolutely littered mood boards. Pinterest is the best place for that. I do like Pinterest because the, al the search algorithms are really good. So here's Pinterest. And so uh, where's my monster board? Here's my monster board. Uh, what the cute monster board that I've called it. And uh, so uh, I've got some great monsters here that people have done, uh, wonderful work. And let's say I like the look of this style here. Um, so someone's drawn some frog things that look cool. And then the algorithm works out similar images or s things that are similar to, and then I can pin them. Uh, so I think these are pretty cool and I can save these under cute monster save. And now when I go back to my board, I mean, you've probably seen Pinterest before, but um, if I refresh this Pinterest board here, you can see that there it is, okay? So a really great way to store your um, images and just grab ideas from all over the place uh, on Pinterest. So that's Pinterest. Uh, 
Uh, then Puref is really great because it will sit on top of your, oh, that's uh, Luna Lotus, I like that one. <laughs> uh, do you have an Instagram? Um, uh, yes, I do. You can look at it. It's in the description somewhere. Um, so I got distracted by there. Uh, then, yeah, chuck, chuck them onto Puref and then you can um, pin them on your second monitor if you've got one, if you happen to have one. Otherwise, you can pin them into one of these boxes here so you've got something to go by. And I was, uh, what I did was I drew a few out. That's the next stage. So you can see some of my silly monsters. I like that one, actually. I think that's my favorite. I quite like this big square one here, um, but we're doing a different one now. Um, but yeah, so draw them out. Uh, really easy, basic sketches. Um, of your monsters, get ideas, and again, with the drawings, this took about, I don't know, 15 minutes perhaps, um, which is a kind of pitiful really, it should be a bit quicker than that, but just be really quick with them, and you get loads of them, and you've got lovely pre-production work then, and you've got lots of ideas to go from. Okay, let's see how you're getting on with the Discord, and see what's happening here. <laughs> this one's a weird one, isn't it? Mr. Worm, like it, good job. Luna Lotus, good job. Um, uh, make a tutorial about 2D animation in the future or else I will eat you alive. <laughs> You'll have to find me first. Uh, but uh, 2D animation, maybe grease pencil, do some stuff. Uh, Blender Boy, what's, oh, we've, we've answered that one. Um, someone else was asking, saying, please read my comment. Make sure you at Grant Abbott and then it will come up in orange so I can see it easily. <laughs> Just subscribe today, Dark Side. Nice to see. Uh, let's see what else everybody's saying. A grant face monster. Uh, it's impossible because I just look so happy and nice. Can't monsterfy me. <laughs> uh, what Discord channel do we post? And we've answered that, haven't we? Um, so it's in the live stream channel. Uh, and we got one from Luna Lotus and Mr. Worm. And now Ben. There we go. Now that's interesting. Ben's chosen a different approach, and we'll talk about that uh, in a moment. But he's uh, got different objects for each of these, which is absolutely fine. You can do that. Um, I was assuming people were going to make it out the same object, but you can make them different objects, no problem. Uh, nice one, uh, Meal Noz. <laughs> it looks uh, sort of turtly. It's got a cape. <laughs> good fun. Uh, Nexus, I like what's going on here. That's good. And uh, yes, sir. Uh, that's it's evolved nicely. Doing well. Doing well indeed. Um, okay, so let's put this up here. Um, I'll continue slightly with mine, but uh, you can continue and watch along or whatever, you know. Um, oh, I'll just answer this question. I le like exporting my PureF scenes as single images, it, as a single image and dropping it into image editor window inside Blender. That's a good idea, Lumi. You can do exactly that. So uh, in PureF, uh, we can export uh, somewhere, uh, save export, isn't it? And then a single image, um, somewhere is it oh export scene isn't it there we go export scene and you can export like that um i, I don't do it this way you see but you do this one way of doing it and then you can bring it into here let's say you can just sort of bring this window out change this to the image editor and then load it in by pressing open and i'll change that back to the outliner now okay so i'll continue a little bit with this uh, and go through some of the problems that people might have so let's make an arm out of here now the tempting thing is to get grab both these and press extrude um, but we have these awkward poles uh, and that's not necessarily the best way of doing it it's it's fine if you've done it like that and it doesn't make too much difference for a little character like this but what if i want smaller arms coming out here because uh, generally if i extrude this Arms don't really come out, well, I suppose in this case, it would, um, but I'm thinking of a big fat monster. Let's let's find one. Um, there we go. There's a monster, but he's got quite small arms in there. So think about how could we make the arms, uh, small little arms instead. <laughs> Just see Frank's. <laughs> uh, so have a think, how can you make the arms uh, small coming out of here? So if I want to do this, but this, and then I can scale it down. Oh, but then it's, then I've got this sort of blobby bit. Oh, I was going to extrude there, but I didn't extrude. Oh, it is extruding. Yeah. Um, so it's sort of working, but that's not quite what I was hoping for. Have a think about that. Inset, indeed. Yes. Uh, not insert, inset. <laughs> Lots of people saying insert. Uh, probably autocorrect if you're on a phone or something. So I to inset. Then we can scale in the Y. But you must remember when you're doing that, it is adding topology. So two things. Um, we're doing game design here. So we're making it for a game. So you've got to be aware of the poly count. Uh, but also you have to be aware of the pinching. So if I press, um, go to object mode and then press shade smooth, 
you can't really see it because well just about you can see there's there is a cube here so there is a tiny bit of pinching in this area so you just have to be aware that poles cause pinching poles pinch okay now we can extrude up here with little arms um, I probably want I'll undo that and I'll scale in the Y again hmm. someone's donated that's very kind um, that's a bit weird though because it's supposed to come up on here donations but it's not working uh, but thank you whoever that was who donated it comes through on my watch because it comes in on my phone and then my watch but it doesn't tell me who donated but I really appreciate it if you donated um, we could even circularize this uh, if you have loop tools uh, circularize not a very good term if you have loop tools um, there is another way but uh, I think loop tools is the better one edit preferences and there's loop tools type in loop loop and there's loop tools make sure that's ticked okay auto mirror and loop tools are the two I use the most as long as well as the node wrangler so all those should be installed if you want to be a blenderite so right click now loop tools at the top here you see and I can go circle ta-da it turns it into a beautiful circle um, <laughs> uh, so freaking useful I think you want to say <laughs> Uh, so uh, uh, let, well, I'll quickly do this. Um, so I'll extrude out here, and extrude again, and he's going to have uh, weird art hands. Extrude again, scale, extrude. That looks stupid, doesn't it? Uh, maybe flatter hands. So what I'll do, I'll get this one and this one. Scale Z zero, and this one and this one. Scale Z zero. There we go. Grab these, scale Z, and then grab these two, extrude. And I feel like they all need to be load smaller, so I'm going to press Control Plus. This is really useful. Watch this, Control Plus. Dig, 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 dig. Love that. And then I can scale it all down, but not in the X axis. What do I press to not scale in an axis? So try that. Not scale, or try, tell me what you would press. What would I press? What would I press? What would I press? So it is shift X. I'll see if, um, so shift X is not in the X axis. So it's scanning in the Y and Z. So they're long arms. It looks really stupid now. Make octopus fingers. It could be actually. It could have sort of tentacles, couldn't it? Shift X, well done. You got their first Lumi. Well done, gold star to you. You have won the gold star. <laughs> it's quite illustrious that um, gold star. So make sure you keep it, keep it safe. Uh, and don't share it with anybody because everybody's after them. They try and steal them from you. Scale in the, not the X, the Y. I've just I'm now I'm now off off away and modelling now. Uh, so yep, see how you, let's see how you're getting on. Let's see how you're getting on. This is quite fun, isn't it? I do like. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Okay, so uh, Frank, you're disqualified. You have to leave the lesson now because that is disgraceful. Uh, it's just not for, it's not very good. It's not very artistic. <laughs> It was one one of my favourite shows as um, when I was growing up, because mainly because of the music. Or is that was it music in this? The trapdoor, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, it was, it was, and the animation was just oh so good, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for reminding us of that, Frank. But don't try and pass other people's work off as yourself. Disgraceful. Um, yes. Now again, into Pixel. There seems to be a worrying trend here. Disgusted. Oh, okay. How can I de delete or dissolve an edge? Okay, uh, we'll go through that. So let's uh, move that across. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, <laughs> whoever that was. Uh, well, where's, where's Blender? So if I want to delete or dissolve an edge, so if I do an edge in here, for example, uh, which might work actually, it makes them even more squarified. Uh, <laughs> don't open that trapdoor, indeed. You want to recreate it, dear Frank? Ah, oh, that'd be cool. In fact, yeah, that'd be really good fun, wouldn't it? Um, I'll let you off then. You can have that. Um, so, um, how do I delete it? Uh, what's the what do I press? Well, in fact, I'll just tell you. Uh, delete, dissolve edges, dissolve edges, delete, dissolve edges. You can, yep. Control X. You can have a gold star there. Uh, is it gyro? Uh, control X is the shortcut. So Control X will delete the loop cut. Uh, you can also just delete or dissolve an edge like this. So delete, dissolve edges. But that's made a weird mess because we now got an n-gon, and we don't really like n-gons, especially when we're modelling like this with subdivision surface modifiers. This is a bit of a naughty way of modelling, really, uh, because um, I mean it's not particularly professional doing it this way. But we can have a lot of fun, and we can learn, and we can uh, build and get cool uh, at these things. Alt F4. I don't even know what that does. 
scary. <laughs> got a feeling it does something bad, but who knows. Uh, okay, so um, how are we getting on? Let's uh, look back at the Discord. Where's the Discord? Uh, the Hercules art, like that, looking good. Uh, cool one there. I like the horns, if they are horns even. They could be um, sort of antenna as well, couldn't they? Uh, those are antenna. They're not just my hands on there. Don't press Alt-F4. Alt is that a sort of... Uh, is it... Oh, I see. Gotcha. <laughs> Trolls. Don't be naughty. The account, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, uh, so I'll move that to one side. So uh, we're still making our model. Can we make some eye sockets for him? <laughs> Next up, to <laughs> interesting. Uh, so eye sockets. So this one's got an eye socket, hasn't he? Uh, so maybe we want a couple of eye sockets in here. Have a think about how you might want to add that. He maybe wants uh, one big eye, I don't know, or maybe two eyes. What do you reckon? have a think about how you're going to add some eyes I'm thinking about mine actually how I'm going to add some eyes I'm sort of thinking I want this sort of area in here maybe to be an eye we'll have a think so think about eyes next oh that was a good one from uh, Mena cool work like that one it's good the screen tw shot twice it was so good you put it on twice <laughs> nice work I'm liking this it's good fun isn't it <laughs> uh, just seeing what people are saying uh, can you please make satisfying animations? Uh, I suppose I could. <laughs> I'm not that interested in them. Um, I prefer actual character animation things. And we could have a bit of fun and animate this. Uh, we won't get that far today, but maybe in another stream. Make a hole and add a UV sphere inside. That's probably the easiest way, isn't it? Yep. Um, how are we going to make a hole, though? Think about how we're going to make a hole. Afternoon, Atomic Allen. Uh, by the way, where are you from? Is that to me? I'm from the UK, uh, United Kingdom. We're in lockdown at the moment, hence why I'm here, because I'd usually be at college, but I'm doing a live stream instead, and I might have some students here. They might all be just carrying on with their coursework, which is environments. Um, you could Boolean. I'm not a big fan of Booleans because of the distortion to the topology. So I generally keep away from that as a beginner um, as much as possible. Booleans will sort of cut out shapes, so you can have one shape that cuts out another, or you can add one shape to another with a Boolean operation. Uh, but try and steer clear of that, especially when you're doing game models, because the topology is a mess uh, when you do um, that sort of thing. You could make a hole with sculpting. What I'm going to do, uh, oh, into edit mode, three on my keyboard, grab these faces, inset them, and it should look like this. Now, if it doesn't, uh, you might have this happen. That's just the boundary thing, and I've unticked it already in this program. Um, so I actually want to untick it, so it comes out like this. So we've got two eyes, one either side, okay? And then, yep, right-click, loop tools, circle. And it sometimes does this, and it's a bit of a pain. Sometimes you have to sort of rotate it and scale it and sort it out, but there's the clipping thing that I was talking about. So I'm going to undo this, uh, and I'm just going to um, adapt it so it gets a bit closer to a circle. Sometimes you have to do this. You have to help it out. So let's go to front view, one on my keyboard and just uh, give it a bit of a helping hand and find out where it wants to be. All right, so now if I select this outer loop here, we might be able to get a circle. Okay, I'll talk about this in a second because that's not ideal. Um, so uh, right click, loop tools, circle. It's a bit better, but it is, it's having trouble and the topology is not amazing and that's the main reason why it's having a bit of trouble. I'm just going to grab this and move it in here. Uh, because uh, it's sort of distorted slightly. So this one, I can grab it down. And this one sort of needs to be down, so a bit closer here. But this is this stretch isn't particularly good. Ideally, with the topology, what would have is a, if I press K for the knife tool. So K, what you can cut into your mesh. So what, what happens, K for the knife tool, you get the sort of green knife icon and green dots. And it highlights when it goes over a vert. Vertice. Uh, vertex. <laughs> I always do that. Vertice. Where did that come from? Um, and we can cut, uh, make a cut there. So that's a nice quad there. That's good. But then we've got a triangle here. So actually we need to then cut around here as well. And this is slightly better topology. So I can go all the way around the back and up here and around here. It's going all the way around. Around to here. And then actually I'll cut there as well. Okay. So that's a bit nicer topology. 
uh, and then I can come in here and dissolve these two. Don't worry too much about this if you're not getting it, but it is nicer topology that um, because we've got a sort of even distribution now of our quads. It's still not great topology to be fair because you can see all these sort of weird anomalies appearing, but don't worry too much about it. Again, it's not a big issue at the moment because we're just having some fun. Um, right, so then I can select my faces, these faces, extrude them inwards, whop. <laughs> Love it. Now, uh, how do we check the face count? Where do we look for the face count? Have a think about that. You don't have to shout it out because it's quite difficult to describe, but you might be able to. <laughs> oh, we're getting some more, we're getting some more. So we've got one from yes sir. Is it, it's getting quite far, isn't it? It's getting good, it's getting good, liking it. Excellent stuff, enjoying this. Um, the creatures need a name, so yeah, give your creatures a name and uh, type them in underneath your creature. Uh, what are other people saying? Uh, you have to do a lot of cleanup after booleans indeed. Uh, I'm still waiting for a competition that allows me to start my trapdoor model. <laughs> yes, indeed. Had that ref image for about a year now. <laughs> Well, you should be working along now. I suppose you're probably going to struggle to work along uh, with a young child in the room. <laughs> You've got, have you got two gold stars, Lumi? Inset face, make circle and delete. Yes, indeed. So inset face, make circle, delete. You don't have to delete though. I've in, um, extruded inwards and then you're going to end up with this sort of this curve here. Um, but well, you can't ask for gold stars. You only get given them. But all right, then have another gold star. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Right, we got one from... Hercules. I like that. Oh, I like this indeed. It's very good. And I think that would be even better if you apply the mirror and then add this or take this away afterwards. And then it's got just one horn coming out. That would look quite cool, I think. Um, brilliant stuff. Uh, right. Down on the bottom right. Indeed it is. Yes. I, I was thinking, I was getting confused because I'm looking at the camera. No, I'm just, I was just confused then. There's no excuse for I was looking this way thinking bottom right. Left. Uh, okay, bottom right. Yes, indeed, we've got the faces there. If you go into edit mode and select them all, you can see how many faces you've got. But we are in edit mode, so we can't actually. How can we see that? Um, is it selected? I can never remember whether it's selected or seen. Um, faces 2000. Is that right? No, that can't be. I forget myself now. That is correct, isn't it? Yeah, so that is with the subdivision surface, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. So it's not as it is now. It's with the subdivision surface and there's faces 100. No, that's not right, is it? There's more than that. But I suppose what you can do with the subdivision surface modifier is you times it by by four, basically. Every time you um, add a subdivision surface modifier. So I've got a subdivision of one in the viewport. So it's times whatever you've got by four. So if this is 200 faces, which it looks to be 200 faces, then it's times that by four and we've got 800 faces. So um, game models, definitely um, if, if they're just sort of simple models like this and there's gonna be lots of them in the scene, then keeping them below a thousand faces is a good idea. You can go a bit higher. Um, and if this was a main character, then we might want him looking a bit more smooth, uh, possibly go up two. But remember you're dividing by, f you're times by four again. So that's 800 times by four again, um, which is something else, uh, which is just crazy. 2,400, isn't it? Something like that, I think. <laughs> I'm just being slightly worried. That's not, is it? That's not, that's not right. It's 3,200. Oh, dearie me. Making a, making a fool of myself here. Oh, how embarrassing. Um, I'm just making up, I'm just having a laugh with you. I know exactly what it is in my head because I'm great at maths. Uh, but uh, if you know, then do, do let me know. Okay, so we've got our character and you might notice a bit of pinching in there. Uh, if you you might need to smooth these verts out a bit, uh, it depends. You might want some pinching in there. It can look kind of interesting, but I'm not sure I like that. So uh, if you've got any pinching, then you do have to line things up a little bit. So if I go G then Y, that, and the closer it gets to each other, the less pinching there is, as you can see there. Uh, in terms of when I say the closer it gets to each other, but in line. So if I just grab these now and then scale Y zero, uh, we've got less pinching and then if I grab these as well with these scale Y zero it will flatten them all out and we should have no pinching or apart from there because we've got sort of slight eyebrow thing going on I quite like that eyebrow thing actually um, it might be fun to have a loop cut around here really and push the eyebrows out now uh, I know you I know how you should call that monster Bigfoot 
He has got big feet, hasn't he? He's got very big feet. In fact, he could even go sort of control R here and then scale in and... Oh, double big feet. I'm just going to scale in there. Oh, I'm having loads of fun now. That's the problem with this. You can go on for hours making silly monsters for ages. I feel like the feet need to come in a little bit, so I'm going to bring these out. <laughs> going off. I wasn't going to spend too long on this because we need to get onto the other monster, don't we? Um, right, let's grab uh, wireframe or, or X-ray. X-ray. Uh, uh, let's do that again. Go to solid. Right. Uh, if I go to X-ray mode here, X-ray mode, I can then see the back um, faces and then I can bring them in. Uh, these ones as well. And G to grab. Ooh. And these probably need to come this way a bit. A bit of a curve. Oh, look at him. Isn't he cool? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting off on one. Arse leg monster. <laughs> um, uh, will you rig your character and animate it? Um, I might quickly rush through that. Um, to show you how to do it but i'm going to go on to the next character and talk about that first because it's not part of what we're doing today uh, but maybe we'll get a chance how are we doing for time so we're 40 minutes in we want to probably get along to another one let's have a look at how people are getting on uh, we'll do a tiny bit of coloring in uh, so mill noise this is quite interesting isn't it uh, weird looking character and pez looking nice it's sort of ghostly i like it uh, let's move this back out of the way uh, right, so um, one more thing that we might want to do is, in fact, let's move this foot back, G, then Y, uh, to make it more circular like this. And we can use that as our, our pivot point. So let's uh, just wireframe. So it'd be a good idea, let's get to front view, grab that, move it into the middle, uh, to uh, move my cursor to this point so I can add my sphere in there. Um, or, in fact, it might be even better if I grab this edge loop around here. Let's go to solid mode again and do that. Uh, and a really useful thing, uh, because I can't see my edge loop going round, if I press this button, I can now, and then I can select it in here. If I press Shift S now, and press cursor to select it, now that cursor goes in the middle there, and then in object mode, make sure you do it in object mode, um, I will need to press Shift A, mesh sphere, UV sphere. <laughs> I was gonna say circle then, but it's not a circle, is it? Uh, there we go, so we've got a sphere there. Uh, I'm going to right click Shade Smooth so it looks a bit more like my uh, monster. And weirdly, I kind of like that in a strange way, it's sort of deep recess, but we'll make that a bit bigger somewhere around there. Now we can just mirror it to the other side and it would be a good idea to do that because um, then it'll be in exactly the right spot. So we go down to our modifiers, add modifier to this. So this is the sphere selected, add modifier, mirror. And at the moment, it's not mirrored to the other side. Why is that? Uh, what is going on? Let me know what's going on here. Why is it not mirrored to the other side? And what can I do to mirror it to the other side? There's a gold star in this. There's a gold star going for anybody who knows how I can mirror it to the other side without this huge problem that I'm having. <laughs> Hopefully I'm making sense. Whilst I'm waiting for your answers, let's see what other people have done. Lunar Lotus, looking good. Oh, there's quite a few coming in. Yes, sir. Looking good. Liking that. And then we got Mr. Worm. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's quite a fun one. Uh, Lunar Lotus. Uh, the eyes, I think, it's easy to make separate, but you can make them the same object. It's absolutely fun. There we go. Oh, yes. Ink, ink drop the character. Who got it first, then? Who got it first? Uh, the center is in the sphere. Exactly that. That's the reason why it's going wrong. So you've got a gold star there. The That account, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, Jonathan Morrison, ink drop the character. Exactly, uh, exactly that. Um, other people, you're doing very well, but you weren't there first. And the gold stars, they're a, a precious commodity. Uh, you can give yourself a copper star, a silver star. <laughs> what am I going on about? Why am I being such an idiot? Okay, we've got some good ones as well. Lune Lotus, looking particularly interesting. Sort of hair that going on there. Interpixel, looking pretty psychedelic. And then uh, Happy Shroom Blob. Yes, we need to name them. Noom them. Uh, noom them. Noom them, people. <laughs> name them like Happy Shroom Blob. Looking good. I like that. And then Ben, well done. <laughs> it's good fun. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I, can't, I can't allow that message, headshot. <laughs> I could duplicate it, uh, but... <laughs> Uh, he's, he's, he's rather upset about not getting any stars, but I can understand they are they're precious. They're very precious. So I can select this and I can use 
the mirror object with the pipette, I call it. Some people call it ink dropper. Some people, people call it an eye dropper. But it's, a, it's just a pipette. That's what we used to call it in chemistry. Um, so pipette and there. It's using the object now, the object center point, which is in the middle here, and then it's mirroring it across to the other side. Whoa! Mind blown. Amazing stuff. What about low poly human heads? Well, uh, well, one day, one day we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, it's just seeing what other people are saying. Can you make ghost monkey like Ghost Rider? Yeah, I suppose you could, but I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, it's nice to see you. Hello, uh, good, good to have you on here. The H was here. Uh, no, ah, yeah, you're selling on eBay, aren't you? Uh, you should share the link. Uh, it's one of those motion capture suits. Is that right? Uh, you were message messaging the other day. I was, I was thinking, oh, that would be t that's quite tempting to buy a motion capture suit at the moment. So uh, share your link. I'm not sure you, you might not be able to actually uh, share a link, but uh, you can always send it to me. Maybe I'll share it in a second, or I'll share it on another on the, on, on, the, on another stream. Is what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Um, so uh, there's my weird looking character. What else have I got to do? Oh yes, that was it. So uh, thinking about texturing. Texture the next, okay? So uh, we've got, let's say about five minutes on texturing, not very long, but it should be fairly straightforward. Uh, I'll give you some hints in case you're completely thinking what is going on here. Uh, which, <laughs> yeah. um, you can go across to the shading tab. Uh, oh, look at him, look at him there. Sca scared me, he did. Whoa. Whoa, scared me. Uh, so across the over to here, grab our monster. Make sure you're in the um, object tab here, which you should be automatically. But make sure your object is selected. Uh, if you can't see the selection, which you sort of can't at the moment, which is really awkward, you can go to overlay modes here, and then it shows you your overlays, and you'll get a little outline. So you can press new, give him a material, and uh, try and make a gold monster to start with. Don't know why he's going to look gold. No, actually not gold. I always say gold, don't I? We'll have a silver monster. Silver monster. Okay, make a silver monster. He's not a monster. He's just a cute character. You can duplicate it better. You could do Alt D and duplicate, but uh, how do we know it's in the right position? <laughs> Is it possible to show a human model that I made? Uh, Is there a forum for it? Yes, the Discord server. Uh, there's a 3D forum. So if you come into here. There's, uh, we've got about uh, over 7,000 people on the Discord server. Um, so it's all happening. Uh, and you can go to the 3D um, artworks and show off your 3D stuff, such as Shin Sinjay is, is here. And here's a model from Silver Fox who uh, did his first sculpt and printed, that's a 3D print of their sculpt. Cool stuff. So there's all sorts on here. Absolutely amazing. That, that's from my, my initial course, uh, the uh, Monster and Man course. Uh, do check that out. The playlist is, I think it's in the description actually in this one, but uh, the, check out my playlist. Oh, thank you very much, Chance McDonald. That's very kind of you. That's uh, uh, wonderful to see one here again. <laughs> do check out my playlists uh, on my channel for beginner courses like this. That looks pretty cool though, uh, rel re Relic. Um, I like the eyes and face. It's nice. Uh, we haven't seen you for a little while, uh, Chance McDonald. Good to see you. Uh, hello, Raymond. Uh, nice to see you on here as well. Uh, I hope you're well, uh, Chance McDonald. Ooh, and well, thank you very much. That was a delay, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, so where are we? Uh, I'll move that back up there and come back into my model. Uh, so we want to put some color onto this. Uh, so we were trying to do silver color. So the base color is probably going to be a bit gray, isn't it? About there, maybe a bit darker, we'll see. Uh, and then a metallic all the way up. Oh, look at him, he's silver, silver weird monster. We could make him really shiny, chrome looking. Oh, silver monster. Looks a bit silly, doesn't he? Okay, so instead, I want you to give him, well, in fact, you, you decide, you decide. You could even, if you've been following my nodes course, you could even plug a texture in and see what happens. But think about how you can make that texture go on in a good way without unwrapping it. Oh, thinking about that one. I'm going to make mine, uh, we've had green, so it's going to be a blue monster. And off the metallic, ooh, shiny. There we go, a blue monster. Looks a bit silly, doesn't it? How are people doing? Let me see your results. Let's go back to, 
uh, the live stream channel. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. This is good. Go seamless or go home. <laughs> so shiny. <laughs> this is great. That's a really cool one. Really, really cool. Love that. Uh, sorry, who was that? Um, uh, it's just called Blobby. A Blooby. Blooby. <laughs> Big tricky. Nice work. I, I really like that one. It's got some cool design. Now, that's the thing. Uh, you don't have to be an amazing modeler uh, to come out with cool stuff This using this sort of silly technique that we're using here. Um, but uh, because uh, Big Tricky obviously has some artistic prowess here, don't they? So they've come out with quite a cool model um, that's just, it looks like a um, sort of weird transformer type thing, doesn't it? Well, sort of anyway. Uh, but I love that. Um, and then we've got one from, yes, sir. He's got, <laughs> I like that. That's that's some good stuff going on there. It's big sort of flappy arms, weird. It looks like a Pokemon, didn't it? Yep. Uh, so another one from Hercules Art. There we've got some gold looking stuff happening. Well done. Interpixel. It, it's got a bit of squish going on around his legs. A bit of pinching there. Just be aware of that. Might cause you problems when you animate uh, later on if we get that far. Uh, Planter, nice. <laughs> no, I, it's definitely good enough. It's really cool. Loving it. Oh, this is good fun, isn't it? Having fun here. Uh, as a teacher, how do you handle situations where one guy screams something dumb like, model, model SpongeBob, and everybody's like, yeah, do that. Uh, I'm sorry for my uh, Russian name. That is hard to read, by the way. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Some cool, oh, look at that one. Um, I I'd, I'd, I'd kind of just go with it with situations like that. Just think, well, let's try modeling SpongeBob then, if everybody wants to do that. Or I'll say we'll model it next time and have some fun. Yeah, uh, I try and go with what people want. Uh, in fact, I, I like it when people are shouting out and asking me to, um, for stuff to do because it means they're interested and engaged. Uh, so let's let's do it. Let's let's go with what they say. If they say model something like I don't know something that's really difficult, then I'll say we'll probably have to cut back a bit and do an easy version of that. Uh, now this is an interesting looking thing here, isn't it? There's a couple couple of monsters. Love it. Nice work. Uh, I'm watching the second tutorial now. Learn so much. Best in class teaching. Many thanks. Uh, appreciate that. Harold Hearth. Much appreciated. Okay, let's uh, move uh, Discord back up here and let's think about the eyes. Now, there's a, it's nice and easy with the eyes. Um, and the reason I chose a UV sphere is for this, um, <laughs> this particular reason. Model Burke from Trapdoor, please. <laughs> Maybe that will be the next one. <laughs> okay, so back to layout mode. And I want to be able to see my UV, uh, my polygons. That's the word, shade flat. There we go. Now this is much easier if I rotate this in the x-axis 90 degrees because we've got what looks to be an eye there already. So we can uh, do a bit of texturing on this in a nice, easy way. I'm not sure what's going on there, Headshot, actually, with the rigging. It, so much can go wrong with rigging and it's really difficult to sort of uh, tell you straight away because it's just it could be a number of things um, but always try uh, rescaling your model so uh, resetting the scale what I'm trying to say is always try applying the scale of both your rig and your model so control a scale and it might help uh, hello from Germany like it. Uh, so it, where are people from let me know uh, it's always interesting to see where people are where people are at. Okay, so with this now, I can go to the shading tab and I can do something slightly different. So um, yes, I'll give this a default uh, color, which is gonna be white because that's gonna be the main bulk of the eye. But I can come over here, well, there's two places. There's slot one, so that's slot one, but I can come over here, which is a bit easier because I can see these material slots as well. And I can add a new one. And I'm gonna, this is gonna be the um, pupil. Okay, so this is gonna be black. So we'll make that surface color black. So there's slot two, so we're on slot two now. So if I click on slot one, slot one, and that's the white material, that's material two. I'll call it black so we know. So uh, this, this material editor over here is the same as the node editor, and this is just a visual representation of what's going on here. Hopefully that makes sense. We can change the color to black. It's doing nothing up here because all our faces are assigned to this one material, okay? So we can uh, assign a few faces to this material. Let's go into edit mode. Uh, oh, I better go to Flip dev so I can actually see it. And let's go to edit mode, uh, face mode, and select these, and press assign. So we're selecting those middle ones and press assign, and then it turns black. Look at that! Whoa! Ta da! Uh, so where are we? Uh, Brazil. Another one from Germany. Belgium. Algeria. Italy. Egypt. India. 
<laughs> England self-isolating. <laughs> How many people are having to self-isolate uh, and be sort of shut indoors? Now, you're from Mars. You're, you're not. Not. You probably don't know there's a virus going around. Then, uh, whale, whale Samuel. Uh, so, but greetings from Mars. Uh, gr greetings from f greetings from Earth to Mars. There we go. <laughs> Italy, Brazil, Ireland, Israel, uh, Rusland. <laughs> uh, from the black hole. There's always a few that say weird places. Like from black hole. Whoa, whoa, or Mars. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see how people are getting on. Whilst, uh, whilst we're finding out where people are from. So we've got a few more. Yeah, look at this. Things aren't going well for me. I think this is really cool. I like that one as well. Oh, that's very good. A little bee. Uh, looking looking cool oh that's a cool one isn't it with the eyes that were in the hands what's that pan's labyrinth style isn't it love it is that pan's labyrinth that's what it makes me think of anyway spain 14 days isolation you've been 14 days in isolation already whoa we've how long have we been uh only about two or three something like that i can't remember it's all it's all blurring into one uh vietnam cool whole country on lockdown yeah crazy isn't it real monsters i should have i suppose we could this could be a um a coronavirus it needs to spike a bit there's a happy coronavirus maybe it's an antibody to the corona let's not talk about that <laughs> i shouldn't have started that why did they even ask uh, do apologize for starting us off on that one uh so who's who's winning 21 days in lockdown from dark side oh my goodness oh my goodness it does actually bring it home a bit actually uh it just suddenly makes you think oh wow yeah it's it's really it's really tough out there uh, uh sorry for my uh silliness um in not silliness but um i don't know flippancy uh in sort of oh quarantine and all that sort of thing but 21 days flipping egg it's a bit of a bit of a killer really isn't it um well stay safe people stay safe and uh do some do some fun activities like this <laughs> hopefully you're all having fun i'm enjoying myself anyway uh it's it always is great fun uh interacting with everybody and uh chatting uh hopefully this isn't too slow it's, it's meant to be a slow pace just to have fun uh for beginners i'm from grant abbott that's a new one actually that's a new one unknown seven you've done well there you've beaten me <laughs> three weeks here in italy come on man oh man day 12 Anyway, uh, let's let's not dwell on it. Let's move on to the uh, what's what's this bit cornea, isn't it? I feel like it's the cornea, but that just sounded wrong. So I I need to select those, and then I need to make a new slot for this one. New slot, so new material. I will make this one blue. I can change it here as well or here. Same thing, blue. But nothing's changing. That's because I haven't. What haven't I done? What haven't I done? Why is it not changing? Oh, help me out, guys, please. <laughs> So we're going to jump. Uh, there's a gold star on offer. Gold star on offer. How do I, what do I press to make this blue go onto these objects? How am I going to do it? I'm just <laughs> making depressing reading this, isn't it? <laughs> a sign indeed. Uh, so Mikdad Nadathodi. You were first with that one. You were first, so you get a gold star. We press a sign. And there it is. We got now blue eyes. I suppose maybe he has uh, weird eyes instead. So if we change this color now, it will change his eyes. I think we need orange eyes to go with blue. Why do they choose orange? What do you think? Why do they choose orange with blue? There's a, there is actually a reason for that. Have a think, have a think. Anybody know what that is? Why orange and blue? And it should look kind of nice, hopefully. If I shade smooth. Uh, the orange and blue should work together. Uh, a sign. I'm from Cheese and Onion. <laughs> I kind of like that one as well. <laughs> Oh, there's more coming in. There's more coming in. Uh, complementary colours. Are they called complementary? Is that the right word? Complementary. Oh, everybody's saying complementary. I can never remember the phrases for them, but if I go under here, they are opposite colours on the colour wheel. And they really, uh, yeah, they do complement each other, so they're probably complementary. Um, opposing colours. I thought, I thought they were opposing, but maybe they are complementary for that reason. Because there's different. Um, let's just just quit. Um, this is worth looking up, by the way, if you um, aren't aware. So color theory, color wheel. Now, if I go onto that and choose images or something, we should see for this, for example, 
Oh, that's a really small one though. And it's taken ages to get there. How the nail color wheel. Oh wow, it's for nails. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's find a different one. Oh, well, maybe it's going to work. But that that's actually quite a good. There, yeah, that's a better one. There we go. Let's go on to there. Hopefully, we'll get there. Oh man, this is this is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Can prepare. Okay, so um, there we have got secondary colors. Prim no, that's not. Ter oh, that's not what I meant. That blemen thing. I want it. Oh, oh, that's awful, isn't it? You can imagine what my lessons are like in college, can't you? Never mind. <laughs> uh, but what I was trying to do uh, was, oh no, they're just primary. That's, oh, how rubbish. Color theory. I want color theory. Uh, maybe that's, oh, I don't know. They, they, you should be able to find something where it gives you an, ah, there we go. Uh, warm, cool. There's a bit there. But basically look that up, color theory. There's loads that you need to know about and you can make really dull things look amazing just by applying a bit of color theory to it. So definitely you must do that, it's important. Um, is it anag analogous? Is it analogous? Oh, there we go, ah, there, there. Uh, Mena, thank you, you've done it. <laughs> I'm glad we got this Discord. It's really useful, isn't it? We've got a few more, uh, oh, look, yeah, I like that one. I like the fatness of this one. Uh, it's with the hands again. Isn't it? I like the horns there now. Yep, that's now it's all smooth. It looks pretty cool. You've got a very sort of sharp edge down here, so your um, vertices are very close to each other. Edges are very close to each other. Uh, <laughs> I like this working well uh, when sunny ray. Uh, oh, he's got nails, uh, nails, claws, and there we go. There's the color wheel that I was talking about. So uh, complementary, it is complementary going across. Yeah, there we go. Um, so they are complementary colors quite right manner and um am i saying that right uh, manner i assume that's right i bet you can't say m without raising your eyebrows why the, uh, didn't, I, didn't i just do it <laughs> oh there's, there's lots of comments uh, anyway moving on moving on right we do need to move on don't we because we're an hour in so and we want to get on to this little guy here so um hopefully you've had a bit of fun and you've modeled your character uh do think about the um the uh what you call it the subdivision so perhaps in game it will need to look like this but remember you can add uh some details where you need them um so there might be um we might have to bring it right down to this weird blob but you could then smarten it up with your own loop cuts and things if you need to. So we can probably go one and then maybe apply this and then add some more variation in there to help it. Uh, yes, I do teach Blender in my um, college courses and stuff, yep. Uh, so we do, uh, yeah, for game design we, we learn Blender. So we're going to have a go at this one now. Okay, so I'm going to um, select him. Oh, uh, I'll go into layout mode, there we go. And we'll go across to him. Oh, we're in text paint. Oh, I've just, I've changed something. I'm going to um just put that back to where it was there we go okay so we're going to go to this guy so if um so hopefully you've made some fun characters we're going to have a go at some hand painting so they're even simpler so have a look at this guy uh try and make a really simple character these are separate objects so really simple character as simple as possible because it could even just be a sphere here and this is just a cube that's been extended and this is i mean the arms very slightly complicated uh, Menna, is it? Okay, Menna. <laughs> uh, cool stuff. Uh, yeah, so uh, these can be separate objects. Uh, I'm in edit mode, so uh, I was able to, um, so you can select all and go to edit mode, but they are actually separate objects, as you can see there. And I did just mirror them across using this object as the mirror. So there's a little challenge for you. The next little monster you're going to make, a really simple one, and then we're going to paint him like this da. <laughs> so it looks it, this one looks a bit sinister but you can do yours however you want okay unknown seven by the way i followed your well tutorial but the lego bricks but with lego bricks on a plate it was a disaster <laughs> oh dear adobe color is amazing uh, uh, oh adobe color is amazing um with a k adobe color <laughs> it's amazing for color schemes yes indeed that's really cool you can um, paste a picture in and it will give you a color palette of that which is awesome okay so having a go at modeling this character um, so I'll put him back into object mode select all and go to wireframe to give you an idea of what's going on 
a Halloween decoration that you'd find in, at the likes of Wilkinson's or something like that. <laughs> How dare you, Mike Evans? <laughs> it does a bit. Yes, it does. Uh, we could, and we, we we might come to animating these characters uh, maybe next time. We'll see how we go. Uh, see if anybody's interested in that. Uh, so, oh yeah, Discord, Discord, dear. Where are we with the Discord? Oh, this is an interesting one from Red Dragon. He's got some weird looking eyes there. And he's got his um, lobster claws almost. <laughs> Fun stuff, liking this. Uh, same here. Da, da, da. That's not a bad thing. Oh, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, is it? It's uh, it's what we want from Wil Wil uh, Wilkin Wilkinson's. <laughs> um, oh, what do we got? We've got a question. In modeling tab with viewport forward slash solid, how do you get the assigned material base colors to show uh you you don't you you have to you have to be in look dev or ev you don't really go to modeling so if you're in look dev you can obviously just uh, go into edit mode you, you do need to be in edit mode to see the faces if that's what you mean uh you but you don't see them in object mode some people might see them in object mode some it's weird how it works sometimes it does but i'm using 2.82 and they uh, it doesn't seem to have any color at all in solid mode. Sometimes it does, but I find that confusing. Um, so uh, back to this character here and into edit mode so you can see what's going on. Oh, I've got that one selected as well. Right, there we go. And into edit mode, there we go. Select all and full stop or period key on my numpad. Um, uh, thanks, Frank. Good to see you. Uh, that account blah 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 to be honest it would be the worst to have Abbott as a teacher in class at first H no matter how much you like the subject you fall asleep with his voice oh, is my voice that bad what if I um, really calm it down and give it quite a deep tone and then it would get really sleepy wouldn't it really really sleepy <laughs> I th I'm a bit more excitable in lessons actually, um, so my voice is probably not as soothing. Uh, I suppose this microphone it gives it a richer tone as well than it probably isn't. <laughs> yeah, seeing what people are saying. Okay, let's uh, quickly look at Discord again and see where we're at. <laughs> like that. Uh, well done, Halal. I like the way you've done the the text actually. Halal is an ex student of mine. This was a long time ago when I. Uh, we weren't even teaching games design when Halal was around. Uh, you weren't in the first co. You were second year, so you must be. I don't know. Was it six, seven years ago? And he's uh, he's still chasing me around the place, badgering me. <laughs> it's it's pretty cool though. I like that. Uh, oh yep, yeah, Erwin Sunny, and that's it. Better get used. <laughs> better get use of this. It's very useful. It's cool though. Love the character. Oh yeah, he's got um, orange around the blue of his eyes. It's cool. He's coming along. There he is. That's a. I prefer that to mine actually. That's annoyingly good. Uh, I'm going to change mine now. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at that uh, from uh, Meal Nose. I'm not sure if I'm uh, pronouncing that one right. Your voice is the reason we're here. That's nice to know. It's a shame. I thought it was my blender ability, but or my teaching. But it's just my voice. <laughs> uh, where was your accent from? Where uh, my accent is. Um, it, it, it's southern England, uh, but I actually work on my accent to try and get rid of any regional dialect so it's easier for me to be understood. So I try and go really sort of British English, uh, Queen's English as it's sometimes known. Uh, so really hyper British. Uh, because that's generally when people are learning the language, that's how they learn it. Well, that's it. Learn more sort of American English these days. Um, but hopefully people understand me more. But I've got a, um, a very slight Suffolk accent, um, which we drop our T's um, uh, slightly. Um, so I should say slightly instead of slightly. So you can see that it sort of drops slightly. Not a Suffolk farmer accent because that's the worst. It is, oh dearie me, that accent. Uh, you'd be surprised. Look, look it up. It's quite interesting to listen to if you're <laughs> if you're into accents, uh, Loon Lotus looking good. Uh, shiny back up with the shiny materials, liking it. Good fun. Interpixel liking that as well. Okay, so we're going to texture paint this one. So uh, quickly in making this model, uh, <laughs> I 
I'm glad everybody's appreciating the lessons. Good stuff. Okay, so um, shift A to add, and we'll start with a cube again, and I'll subdivide it once because then I get this sort of object. I can then I'll scale it up a bit, scale in the Z, so it's a bit taller, and uh, then with I'm going into edit mode, and because it's got the subdivision surface on at one, when I press Control R, it adds quite a few shapes, a uh, few um, what are they call polys in there. I'm going to do it uh, like uh, I, I prefer. Prefer whose whose was it? Um, yeah, yes, sirs. That's that's really cool. So I'm going to do it like that. Much better style, definitely. So uh, let's grab the top, these this face, and this face, and scale it out in the X. So I'm copying your style there, yes, sir. Uh, that's cool. Do we want a bit more on the bottom? And we can sort of sharpen these bottom bits up a bit, maybe a bit out at the front here. But I'm just having a little bit of fun uh, with this character. I might even do one in the middle and give him a bit of a bend like this. So he's got a bit more. Oh, I've, I should have gone with a mirror there, shouldn't I? Because look, I'm all over the place. So what I'm going to do, use the auto mirror. So edit, uh, make sure you got the auto mirror, edit preferences, add-ons, auto mirror, type that in. Uh, do you get a gold star? Yes, you do get a gold star. You shouldn't be asking for gold stars, though. That's naughty because everybody will be asking for them and it will just be pandemonium. But you do get a gold star because it's a great little model there. So you can have a gold star. Okay. Count up your gold stars, people. Uh, keep keep them keep them safe as well since they are hot commodity. Uh, so uh, auto mirror in the x-axis and let's press auto mirror. Ta-da! And it's smartened it up a fair bit. Um, I have messed it up slightly at the back there, but it doesn't matter too much because it looks cool, doesn't it? Does, if I may say so myself. I'm going to bring him in at the bottom a bit there as well. Just having a bit of fun. G then X. Something around there. Maybe that's a bit too much. I don't know. Maybe this one as well. G then X. About there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm putting so much effort. Okay, and then we'll put some arms in. So um, Shift right click to move my cursor. Shift A to add. And just a cube is fine. You could do this with maybe a cylinder if you want to. <clears throat> I find it easier with a cube. So just a simple cube. I mean, it might be that this one is a bit too cuboid. Let's have a look. Uh, let's go into, oh, not edit mode, where, oh, there we go. Is it too cuboid? It's not too bad, is it? It's surprising, that's a cube. Uh, and it's very square and rigid, but I think it looks all right. So we'll go with a cube. I'll make it a bit smaller, and he's gonna have nice little arms. Oh, didn't mean to do that, undo that. Uh, pressed, uh, should press tab first, and then three in face mode, and then we can, uh, bring out some arms like this. He's going to have wobbly arms. Oh, that looks dreadful. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's just press E to extrude. I mean, what I was doing there, if I go to front view and press Control right click, you can actually do some arms uh, like that. So you, it, it extrudes for you. Um, Grant Guru has a nice ring to it too. Grant Guru. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, so um, it looks all right. I could do some hands on the end. The, the easy way to do hands if I extrude outwards slightly and then scale it in the Y, so that's the green, so scale in the Y like this and then extrude again and then I suppose I'll scale down so he's got this sort of look. I mean there's different ways, different styles of hands. Uh, maybe I'll bring these in actually, scale in the Y and go that way out and then three, extrude again and scale it in the Y again. And there he's got some hands. Ta-da! Uh, right click shade smooth and we've got our model. I feel like the um, this bit though, uh, let's grab that one, control plus remember, uh, and then I'll scale this in a bit. Prefer that. And then just move this face in there. So yeah, you do not have to model them as all one object like these ones are all one object it makes them sort of blobby and weird but they can be separate objects like this and we'll texture paint them together in a moment a texture paint that you probably could manage something as simple as this without a tablet because it is very basic i mean it was faster with a tablet definitely hello dan nice to see you uh, but texture painting can be quite fun if you're if you're not able to texture paint or you don't, you have no interest in it, then make another monster and post it on the Discord. Let's see how we're getting on with the Discord. So let's uh, scroll up. So we got 
you've seen these ones. Ah, yes, look, Hercules Art, liking this. Excellent job. Really cool. Brilliant. Uh, we're possibly rigging, possibly rigging, but won't be doing that today because, I mean, we're already an hour and a quarter in. That might be... It, I'd have to go pretty fast through it, and I think we're, lots of people would get lost. Uh, it could be... could get crazy in here. could get crazy. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to move them across slightly. I've got all these lights in the scene. I'm going to move those to a different scene and the camera. Move to... Um, I'll move it to the floor because that will come in later. And then that should be hidden. Ta -da. There we go. So um, move to collection, M for move to collection. So you select it all, M to move to collection. Make him a paprika guy. I don't know what a paprika guy is, actually. I'll look that up. What's a paprika guy? Paprika guy. Images. That's what I've got. Make him into that. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> it looks a bit like a bell pepper, doesn't he? Anyway, uh, so uh, for the feet. So, oh yeah, so remember for the arm first, we need to mirror it. So we mirror, we go to add modifier mirror. And it's not working. Why is it not working? Have a quick think about why it's not working. There's no gold stars on offer for this one. So I'm just going to tell you. Uh, pipette and choose the object. There's our pipette at the end there. Mirror object. And we can use the pipette or the eyedropper or the color picker. And we've got a mirror going across there. Oh, pepper guy. <laughs> I see, so not paprika guy. <laughs> I see. I was a bit confused thinking, what? <laughs> uh, a pipette. It is called a pipette, isn't it? I think, it, anyway. Uh, right. Uh, shift, right click, Shift A to add. I'm going to add a cube again. I love my cubes, do love my cubes, and control uh, one to go to subdivision surface mode, and move that into position. Uh, right, so that's a foot, and it's not a foot yet though, is it, because we need to grab that face at the front and extrude it out. Looks pretty dreadful at the moment, so let's scale that down in the Z, and actually we want to grab that in the Z and flatten it out there. Now it might be that you want to sort this out by just going control R and doing a loop cut, and then sorting it out like that. But I think it's a bit of a cop-out way of doing it, really, because it adds quite a lot of verts. But you can do it like that if you want. It does actually add quite a nice-looking foot. So, I, do you know, maybe I'll leave it like that. And that looks quite nice. Okay. Um, but otherwise, you can apply the subdivision surface modifier and start moving these things around. We will apply all the modifiers before we start painting in a second. Just... <laughs> How do I make toes without adding too much geometry? You paint them on, really, I think. Um, but uh, it, is, it can get really awkward. Um, you, you would need to do a loop cut, and then it's, yeah, it does start getting... I mean, what, what you can do, and this, it's getting, it is getting complicated now, but I'll show you how to do this. So if we're adding toes, and normally beginners think loop cut all the way through, couple of wheels and then we can start doing our toes out here but we've got all these extra loop cuts up here which we don't want so there is another way it can cause pinching though so it might it's not always the best way but um, we can cut here uh, like this uh, and come down this way and then back up the other way uh, it's again it's not possibly not ideal but it's one way of doing it so you cut all the way up there and uh, K for knife and cut down here and through here. So we maintain, no we don't, uh, we do maintain our quads, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. And back up here, and then into there. And press enter. Now to maintain the quads, we need a cut across here. So there's a quad there. And on the other side, I'm just pressing control R and doing a cut across the middle. Oh, it's not worked that time, so K for knife, and you can just cut across. Ah, oh, that's because there was one. If I go to, yeah, um, I need to there's already one there, so if I press K from this one to this one, there we go, uh, and you've got a cut across there. Um, but you, it's where you'll get pinching where there's a pole, so there's a tiny bit of pin. If I put this subdivision surface up, we might just about see. We can't really see; it's not too bad. Uh, but sometimes you get pinching where there's a pole, so it's not the most ideal way. But we have actually got some. Oh, thanks very much, Milan. I appreciate that. Uh, we can actually bring this back in the Y, G, then Y like this and we've got more feet uh, and now we can Ooh, well, uh, thank you very much 
it's good to see you, Milan. I hope you're well. I, I heard you were sort of struggling the other day uh, with um, illness and things. I hope it's nothing serious. Now, if I bring up the tools, let's press T. There's different options with extrude. So looks we've got extrude individual. So if I do that now, extrude them out. Whoa, we get toes. <laughs> cool, eh? Liking those toes, man. Liking those toes. It does actually look quite funky now, doesn't it? They are a bit big, the feet, so I probably want to grab all these. Boop, boop, boop. Go back to my move tool. And G, then Y, and move them back a bit. It's a bit stretched here, though, so let's grab that one. G, then Y. Ta-da! Toes. Okay, hopefully that helps you. So it, it is a, it's a touch confusing. Have a look at the topology again. Notice I've got now an edge flow going around here. Uh, and we do that by... So I did a loop cut all the way around here and then sort of join them up. Okay. Gets complicated at that point now. Um, how are we doing? Okay, so we're back to this character. Uh, last one, uh, we need to just mirror this to the other side. I would like to R then Z and move it out a bit like that. And then I'm going to reset the scale before mirroring because in fact we'll, we won't reset the scale or apply the scale or whatever you want to call it. And so add modifier mirror in the middle there and then use this as a mirror. Actually, it does work because we're using that as a mirror, but it wouldn't if we... <laughs> so don't worry, just forget what I was saying there. I forgot that. Uh, it looks better with... Uh, he needs nails now. Oh, man, we're getting... And then it gets really complicated because uh, we click on this and then we click on these faces and then we inset them, the nails. And we can inset them all at the same time, actually. And he's... <laughs> it looks really odd now. But can you see, each time we add uh, another... Uh, cut it it um, sharpens everything up doesn't it so you have to sort of watch out for that and then you have to adapt it not so sure about the nails I prefer just blobby toes personally <laughs> uh, how are we doing looks better okay oh we've got a few more online now uh, 280 I d I'm trying to stop when blender uh, today starts which is four o'clock so um, I'll probably only go on to there. So we will have to rush the painting a little bit. But okay, we've got this weird guy here. Very simple, isn't he? Very simple. Now, I want to apply all my modifiers in order to paint on him. Um, because if I unwrap him now, uh, and I've got a mirror on, um, I can't do anything different from one side to the other. I might not want to, and that's fine. But uh, generally speaking, you, you want to um, be able to if you need to. So to apply all your mod modifiers, there's quite an easy way. You can go up to Object, um, Convert to, and Mesh from Curve. Even though it's not a curve, it's quite a weird one, this. It'd be nice if they had a button, which was the same, basically, but um, apply all modifiers everywhere. So Mesh from Curve, and you see my modifiers disappeared, and uh, they are all just uh, meshes with no modifiers. Oh, we've got some more coming in. Let's have a look on the Discord. So we've got Akinum. I like this one. It looks a bit like a cat with those cat ears. I like that. And then we've got Nexus. Oh, it's all happening here <laughs> with the colors and everything. Excellent. Oh, we've got a color ramp as well. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, looking good. Okay, let's uh, come back to our character. Uh, everybody good? Uh, what about a belly button? Oh, man. A belly button. Belly button. Uh, that gets really tough. I mean, it's going to look like a mouse, a mouth if it's a belly button, isn't it? Because in here, uh, we'll have to do, uh, well, basically, we'll insert this. Oops. Ah, I inserted that one by accident. Grab that face there and inset it and turn boundary off. And there we go. But that just looks like a mouth now, doesn't it? Look. Oh, we've got a face in there, though. Oh, was clipping not on? That's interesting. Mirror. Ah, you see, clipping was off, and that's what happens sometimes when you've got clipping off. Delete that face. It's <laughs> <laughs> looks horrendous now. It looks like some is is very shocked. He's very disgusted at seeing this guy. Anyway, so we want to be able to paint on this guy. Okay, so we're having fun. Uh we got this, 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 and this, and we're gonna select them all in edit mode. So we select them all and select all the faces and we'll unwrap them. So before you paint, you must unwrap your object. If I go to text paint now and try and start text painting, it's gonna say no UVs are detected. So it's gonna have a bit of a fit. We don't like that. So let's go to UV editing workspace and you can see all the UVs on top of each other. We're gonna unwrap them all together and then we can use this one map for that one character. 
it will make sense in a second. This might be getting a bit more advanced, so if you're finding this a bit tricky, don't worry, you can carry on with the little monsters. Make sure you're posting on Discord, I want to see the results though. Oh yes, we've got another few cool ones on here. Uh, Lunar Lotus, looking good, like that. And Erwin, Sunny Ray, I like this character, this is a good one. Oh, people keep doing better ones than me. That is annoying, I'm supposed to be the teacher. This is, hmm. Uh, yeah, minus, minus gold stars for you. No, definite gold star there. Uh, Erwin, Sunny Ray, uh, really cool lads. I like the, it looks a bit like a sort of weird bird character, doesn't it? So you can have a gold star. They're, they're flying out of the shelves, the gold stars. It's like, it's like Lou Roll at um, supermarkets. Uh, okay, so let's uh, see what's going on with this. So we want to uh, unwrap him, don't we? So let's go the easy way, really easy way. We're in UV editing mode. We go, uh, we've got everything selected in edit mode. Everything selected in edit mode. <laughs> uh, U, smart UV project. Okay, and uh, put the island margin up and I'll explain what that is in a second. So press OK, there they all are. Now something's gone slightly wrong because this is my hand here. This is the foot. And I think this is the body. So why is the hand all big and the rest isn't? What is going on? Have a think. What's going on there? What do you do before you unwrap? What you must always do before you unwrap, generally speaking. Uh, who's going to get the gold star? Who is it? Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Uh, any, any more on Discord? Make sure you're posting to Discord, people. Make sure you're posting to Discord. Apply the scale. Who was first? Who was first? It was Blender Test Guy. Well done, Blender Test Guy. Uh, Corey S, you are right as well. Apply the scale. So go back into object mode. There we go. It, you don't have to mark seams in this one if you're doing an automatic unwrap. You can uh, use do the rotation as well, but you don't have to. The scale is all important. So back into object mode. Uh, right click, because I've got them all selected, so all selected. Right click. Not right click. Oh, my brain's going. Control A, excuse me. Control A and then scale. Now when I go into edit mode, select all, U to unwrap. Watch what happens over here, U to unwrap and then smart UV project. That's Smart UV project is, it will do the seams for you. It's doing everything for you, making this into a 2D um, texture that we can see here. So U, oops, U to unwrap, smart UV project. 6.06 uh, .06 I have for my margin scale. And there they all are. And they're the right size now. Ta-da, as easy as that. Um, you can, yeah, the bleed, I suppose, before texture painting. That uh, It depends on the texture size. Yep, that's a good point. Uh, Jan uh, Schultz. <laughs> uh, good stuff, Pi, F Pi FX. Good to uh, hear you're doing well with it. Thanks to you. But even if I follow a tutorial all the way, it's not looking like it um, skills. Yeah, it's it's not settings, it's just practice. Um, so if your models don't look like the tutorials and they're slightly out, it's just that people are used to 3D more um, and you'll get there, definitely. Okay, so now, we can, now we've got our unwrap here of all our objects and they're all together on this one map. So when we start painting on this, it, um, we only have to export one map to things like Unity, Unreal or whatever it is, because we definitely want this in Unity, don't we? <laughs> so it's such a great model. Okay, so I can go to text paint now, and uh, it's gone white. Interestingly, it's gone white. And we, I'll just get, um, I'll, I need to reset the workspace so it looks like yours. Okay, so join areas. There we go. So yours should look a little bit like this, but I'm just going to close that down. Okay, so it'll probably look like this. Now what we're seeing is the selective object or the active object in text paint mode. Um, so it's this body, and we're only seeing the body there. Remember, we've got more objects that are all scattered around here as well. Okay. Is there a way to UV unwrap two objects at once? Example, if the eye was a separate object, exactly what I did. Uh, you can join them together, so I could have joined these all together, but I literally did that just just so, just a second ago. So select both your objects at the same time into edit mode, because you can now do that in 2.8. You can go into edit mode in multiple objects, unwrap them, and they will both unwrap on the same map. Absolutely brilliant. And that's new to Blender 2.8. So now I can paint on this. Um, so get my handy glove on and my graphics tablet out. Um, although, graphics tablet out, what am I talking about? It's just there, it's right there. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna close a couple of things down because it's all, uh, oh, actually I can't, can I? Uh, it's just gonna kill everything. Uh, I wanna minimize that, minimize. Ah. There we go. 
Uh, I need to just minimize that, make sure everything's working. Yep, cool, we're good, we're good, yep, yep. Um, so, uh, we want to paint on this, so I can now, I should be able to just start painting here. Oh, no, nothing's happening. Missing textures and uh, detected. Okay, so I've, I thought I'd done that step already. But <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to paint, and it's giving me an error message down the bottom here, okay? Uh, that means there's a missing texture. So what do I need to do to be able to paint on this? It says it for you. I need to add a texture. Now, what I'm going to do first, um, I'm sorry, I didn't give you time to answer that, did I? I'm, I'm thinking about the time, thinking, oh, we've got to rush this, but we don't need to rush, do we? Don't need to rush. If we don't finish it, it doesn't matter. You can finish it for homework. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you've got homework. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down a window. Now, this is always really disastrous for beginners, but uh, going, you go when your cursor changes. Can you see my cursor changing there? Uh, in the right, right to the corner, cursor changes and drag down. Surprisingly, that is probably the most difficult thing and control to use in Blender. Uh, and then I'm going to change this to the shader editor. Then we can see what's happening to our node. So I'm going to press N, get rid of that. And we've got nothing in there at the moment. So this hasn't even got a material. Poor chappy. So we want to create one. We can come across here to no textures. There's a little plus sign just there. Plus sign, base color. And I think, uh, well, we're going to name it. We're going to call this Monster 2. Monster 2 uh, color. Um, color, yep, yeah, color. We spell color with a U in England. Uh, but Americans spell it with an O, or just an O, I should say. Anyway, uh, I've got mine set to 2048 by 2048. That's a nice detailed texture. So you might as well, if your computer can handle it, if it can't, then go lower to the default is 1000, a 1K texture. It's quite a big texture, but it's nice to be able to paint on a bigger texture. You can always reduce it later. Okay, uh, no alpha, no need. Uh, I'll give it a color. Uh, this one's going to be a red monster, I think. Red monster. Red monster, actually? Maybe yellow monster, actually. Yellow monster, yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, yellow or red? Yellow or red. Uh, just just checking. We're all good. Uh, people talking about nodes. Cool. <laughs> Can you make a tutorial for importing a character from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? I never found a helpful tutorial about that. Uh, this and I need I need a, need one character. I haven't got the game, so I can't. I, I, I don't know where the character is. Uh, I'm going to press OK. And now it's set up my material and my texture. So there's monster two color. If we zoom in, you can see it's monster two color. So I'm ready to paint and we should be able to start painting. Let's try doing that. There we go. It's painting. Now you may have noticed mine is mirroring and we probably want that, don't we? Um, <laughs> they can't blah, blah, blah. I often take the mic out of my students. So singing at them, that could well happen, indeed. I don't know if I've sung in class before, but maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, people wanted red. I've gone yellow now. Oh, oh what a shame. <laughs> it looks like corn. He is, uh, he's a corn on the cob character. He's just a corn. I'm going to call him corn. Is he a monster or just a sweet, cute corn? Uh, okay, uh, so uh, I want to do some painting. I've got mine set up to multiply already, but yours should be mixed by default. And your strength is here, and your radius, of course, but you can change those with F for brush size and Shift F for brush strength. Okay? I always forget that and I always come over here to change my strength. Don't know why. Um, okay, so um, let's sample this color. So we've got our yellow color. So S to sample, and it brings up the pipette <laughs> or the eyedropper, and I can tap to add that to my palette or it will just change the color. As you can see here, my color changing there as I press S over it, but I'm not tapping. If I press S and tap, it adds it to my color palette and we can remove colors like that. Okay, uh, so we want to do some painting on this guy. Uh, so what's it gonna look like? I mean, this could, is he gonna be another monster? What do you reckon? Another monster, happy, sad, what do you reckon? What are we going for? Let me know. Little Wolf, nice to see you again. Uh, thanks for being here. Can you please do a tutorial on making a cape, please? Yeah, that'd be quite a fun one. I probably will in the future. Yep. <laughs> uh, red, it's better. I'm sorry, I, I've, I've already gone yellow. I, I, looks like I'm gonna have to go red. Uh, so fill tool there, uh, strength of one, and you can fill in red. Actually, it needs to be a bit brighter though. Yeah. Bright red, actually bright red or dull red. I'm gonna go for mid. Uh, I'm not even gonna give you the option. Okay, so we've got 
Cornelius. <laughs> Cornelius. Yes, that's better. Oh, now I need to keep it yellow. <laughs> it, I'm going back to yellow and he's going to be Cornelius. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. He's yellow now. In fact, I can color pick, can't I? I can use the one from my palette. And there we go. It's a bit greeny, that. Make sure to write in the yellow. There we go. And I'll add that to my palette. There we go. And I can move that one. I think we can move it. No, oh, it's just active with that little blue arrow, and I'll get rid of that one. 90% uh, <laughs> mouth, 10% teeth. Now, that's interesting. We can do that. It's going to look very dark in there, but we'll do that. Uh, we, we could try that anyway. Um, uh, happy or surprised. Happy monster with big goofy teeth. Uh, goofy teeth works well with me, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> uh, suitor. Uh, oh, so, sorry, yeah, yellow and red bell peppers are just ripe green peppers. Indeed, they are. Is <laughs> all is all yellow. He's all yellow. Cornelius. I think this is brilliant. So Cornelius is going to have a big mouth then, is he? Um, now you can, it depends what style you want uh, as to how to do this. I've gone really dark here, but I like to choose that yellow. So sample that yellow with S. And then we can make it darker like this. And we can paint in, oh, I'm on the fill brush still. So let's go back to the paintbrush now. Um, uh, texture painting, yes, is a tab up here. Yeah, workspace up there. Thanks, uh, Jeffrey Suter or Sutter, however you pronounce it. Okay, so I've got my color, S to sample, and then come a bit darker. My brush is a bit big, so I'll bring it down with F. And did we say big mouth and teeth? Uh, goofy sort of teeth, though. So, and right, when I start painting, one, it's very, very light, so I'll probably go a bit higher with the strength. But also, I've got mirror on. It looks like he's got a mustache. Does he want a mustache? Is Cornelius going to have a mustache? He could have a moustache, couldn't he? That could be quite fun. Okay, so down here, this is really useful, symmetry. Uh, and I've got the x-axis symmetry, so I only need to paint one side. So it should go a bit quicker, which will be fun. Uh, moustache or no moustache, I want to know. Let's see how people are getting on uh, whilst we're deciding on moustache or no moustache. It's like deal or no deal, but it's a bit hairier. <laughs> moustache or no moustache. Or oh, that's good, that is. Like the teeth in the hair. Uh, good job. And nice one, Red Dragon. He's got eyes in there now. Excellent stuff. These are these are great, aren't they? Lovely work. Uh, Jose Jalapeno. Uh, Jose Jalapeno. Jalapeno. That's is it, yeah. Anyway, moustache. Everybody's going moustache. Moustache it is by the looks of things. On a stick. On a stick. Not sure. Not sure what that means. Oh, because he's a corn on the cob. And you're thinking. Is that, oh, so he's actually going to be a corn on the cob. Or I was just thinking one little corn. But he could be a corn on the cob, couldn't he? <laughs> Hal A. Pino. I like it. Uh, moustache or moustache? <laughs> moustache. Uh, how to erase paint? Well, to be honest, you don't actually erase in this. There are ways of layering so you can erase. But you just, uh, you just sample the colour next to it and start painting and it will paint it out. Can you see that sort of lightly painting it out? I can turn the strength up if I want to and paint it out, you see? Um, but we're not doing that, we're painting moustaches. So sample that colour, go darker, and it's gonna have a moustache. So it's gonna, a sort of handlebar moustache like this. Is that working? Uh, I can go a bit darker actually, can't I? Uh, I'm gonna move this across slightly, so I've got more space to work with, and press N to get rid of this. Uh, notice my scales at one because I pressed Control A. Uh, anyway, I don't know why I put that in there. So it's handlebar moustache time. That, I'm not doing very well with painting on. There we go. Let's get a bit more controlled. You can, there is a smooth brush setting. Where the heck is it? Under brush somewhere. There's a. I suppose the, people probably won't know that. So I'll do that. Stroke. I think it's under. Stabilize stroke. So there's an option to stabilize your stroke. If I tick that, uh, it becomes very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> to get it right i find it really awkward uh, but it, it's it's like the illustrator and all those adobe premiere and not premiere photoshop stuff and things of the same ilk is handle handlebar moustache all right for people makes him look a bit odd okay so i'll fill that in in fact i'll go strength of it is strength one. Oh, i've got the pen pressure on so there we go just fill it in for now there we go so this button here is pen pressure so if you have a tablet, this bit might be a bit tough. I mean, uh, you can obviously draw on whatever you want for your character. 
Um, but the base, get the base colors in first. So I've got my mustache color in first. Um, which I'm going to press Alt middle click and that will zoom in on this area. Then I can move around a bit easier. There we go. He's got a sort of mustache. There we go. Now, a handlebar moustache is not going to go well with a huge smiley face, is it? Or is it? So tell me about the smile. What do you want for the smile? I'll be working on the eyes. Small eyes or big eyes? Small eyes or big eyes? And big mouth or small mouth? Let me know. Whilst you're doing that then. Oh, hang on. Uh, we've got a few questions. Uh, on a stick? Uh, I, I'm, I, I, this is going over my head, actually. I'm not sure what this uh, uh, jalapeno thing is about. <laughs> uh, how to fill a solid color to a selected face ah okay uh, so uh, we'll go to edit mode let's say I want a face um, one face yeah there anyway so edit mode and I want to just be able to paint on these two faces so I select both those faces in edit mode go back to text paint mode and then it's this button here uh, paint mask and we can only then paint on that there we go I'll undo that though because I don't like that <laughs> I was thinking more pencil than handlebar. Uh, pencil, did I? Uh, what's a pencil? <laughs> Is that just sort of a straight line across? There? I don't know. How to f uh, do it? Um, I would. It, uh, it gives a different personality. Uh, big, big mouth. Then Sir M and M. Small eyes, big mouth. I think ninety percent to ninety to ten percent mouth. Yeah, ratio. Uh, so yeah, okay. So mouth being the ninety percent, yeah. Uh, big eyes, small mouth. Big eyes, small mouth. Oh, so we've had. It looks like we've had um, most going for uh, tiny hat. <laughs> it's a Mexican moustache as well, isn't it? So, so anybody from Mexico actually? Anybody from Mexico here? Uh, big mouth with two teeth. So he's going to look quite an odd character now. I'm going to show you something for this. I'm going to uh, turn off mirror. So turn off symmetry. Uh, and then I'm going to do a mouth off to the side. So uh, I'll sample his color, make it a bit darker. Somewhere around here. And then he's going to have a mouth like that. You see, that looks like eyes at the moment. I'll keep it simple because I might change that later on. So small mouth like this. But then his moustache would go with it, actually. That's not going to work, is it? Because then they're going to look like eyes. So actually, that won't work. So maybe we need something like this. I'm going to I'm going to draw the eyes in first, actually. I think that's going to help me. I might even go smooth stroke. Let's try that stabilized stroke out again. Factor. Let's bring it right down. Now, did we say big eyes? I can't remember. I'm just doing it now. Oh, look at that. That's awful. Now, the reason it's doing that, spacing, if I turn this down to 5%, I think that might work now. Let's try it again. It's even worse. That's weird. That is just awful, isn't it? <laughs> I think it might be more my computer than anything. I'll just try the spacing down to 1%. It's just not working, is it? Okay, let's get rid of that then. Where's it gone? Stabilize stroke off. Turn this back up to 10. And. Oh, I need to turn symmetry back on. So um, maybe maybe eyes down here, <laughs> or big eyes, about that big. Tricky, isn't it? Tricky. Uh, pencil moustache is really thin moustache. Is that what it is? Yeah, it could have it could have gone for that, couldn't it? I'm just sort of thinking, what's the best sort of eyes? <laughs> we can have loads of fun with doing this. Pringles, Pringles is going to sue me. Is Pringles, is Pr did Pringles have a moustache like that? I can't even remember. Uh, what do you think about creating 3D models for Gary's mod as a portfolio? That's an interesting question, actually. Um, we'll I'll come back to that. Small eyes, close to the moustache, big forehead, and some burrow. <laughs> I might go with that, actually. Go for. Oh, yeah, he's quite cool now. And then small mouth. Uh, the mouth probably needs to be a, a different colour from the moustache, though, doesn't it? It's very dark at the moment. Let's see how we go with this. And we can smarten this up. 
Oh, you can tell I'm having fun, can't you? Okay, so um, what we can do, we can use uh, multiply and screen brushes. I like to use those, so that will multiply the color. And then we can sort of have streaks. Oh, that's really dark, so strength down. Uh, and I can sort of create some shading to it in here. It's still very strong, actually. So it's sort of got some shape. And then a little bit to the top. Getting a bit Bob Rossi again, aren't I? There we go. A little bit there. There we go. And some screen. Just here. As if it's catching the light. That moustache <laughs> looks nice. <laughs> looks a bit silly, actually. Uh, all right, and then we'll go mix. And we'll sample that color. And bring our brush down. Strength up a little bit. It's got a sort of blonde moustache now. That's not working. Let's try and bring that down a bit more brown on there. Strengths, really. It's going a bit weird today. I'd probably just use error. It usually is. Have I got multiply on? No, I haven't. <laughs> it looks really odd. Okay, let's put a bit of shading in here. So let's sample this and have a bit of shading in here. Right, how are we doing? Uh, right, what's going on? I was thinking of uh, yeah, joining, joining eyes. Joining, uh, yeah, it could be actually. That might be a better one actually. I might do that. Add a lighter shade of yellow on the uh, on the button, 15% of the body. So it looks like corn kernel. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll shade the button in a bit, definitely. Uh, the button, the the body in a bit. Uh, let's just uh, do the mouth a bit more though. Right. I suppose the moustache ought to be coming down here a bit more though. Probably a bit too much. I'm still on mix. I thought I was on multiply then. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> it's sort of working. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, just for a bit of fun now, I'm just messing about really. So just a bit of a highlight across there. And yeah, so if I sample this, I can then rub these eyes out and put them both together. That'd be more fun, possibly. Let's try that. Uh, so again, sampling, bring the color down and then. I don't know, yeah, do I prefer that? Maybe. Really close together. So I've got to find the middle point now. What do we think? <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on with this. This is crazy, isn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm thinking apart, actually. I'll keep them apart. Keep them apart. I'll just keep them like that for now. Yep, so let's go multiply. And then just do a bit around here. And then screen. <laughs> oh dear what about two pairs of eyes that's just that's just just getting silly now it's getting silly okay uh, one thing that's worth doing object mode right click shade smooth and then we can see him in all his smoothie glory no a smoothie don't say smoothie around the corner he might get put in or oh, turn into a smoothie that's just nasty you said that oh it's not a potato it's uh f <laughs> his name is Fornelius. <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we? Uh, I feel like the mouth needs a lot of work, but we'll we'll get there. Um, but we can, yes. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, back to text paint mode, right? Uh, we can. This is a nice, easy way to. Oh, where's the texture slots? No, there we go. So screen, that's good. We can sample this color and use it, and then from the top, uh, we still got mirror on, haven't we? I just double check mirror there. I can brighten up the top. As if the sun's shining on it a bit. It's a bit too uh, strong there. There we go. Might need to just smudge that a little bit. The smudge tool struggles actually, uh, especially with such a high resolution and I'm painting on quite a big bit. So I haven't saved any of this, so it could just all die. And then that's end of stream. <laughs> 
Oh no, no, we've got the blue thing of death. Uh, <laughs> a monocle. Ah, oh, yes, a monocle. That's a good idea. I like it. Right. Are we, oh, we're back. Here, yeah, we're back. So uh, back to the draw brush, making the top a bit brighter. It's a really bright yellow though. So we'll just go a little bit more towards the white there. <laughs> it looks like he's got uh, some ambient occlusion going on there. So I'm going to undo a bit of that. There we go. Not ambient occlusion. What am I saying? What's the word? Sub Subsurface scattering. I'm going to go a bit darker and you should use the multiply. Bring the strength down and just bring the bottom around the feet. There we go. That's probably a bit too much as well, actually. I'm going to undo that. I'm just noticing the strength. Oh, it's because I know what I'm doing now. Oh, I was thinking the strength seems unusual. And that's because I haven't got my tablet on and it's usually much more subtle like this. So I usually go about 0.2. I'm thinking, why is this so strong today? But I, yeah, I turned it off early, didn't I? So it does look a bit like a sweet corn at the moment with a big weird moustache. It's not a great moustache. I'm not that pleased with my moustache at the moment. Lots to do with the moustache, really. We need the, the screen on here. <laughs> He's fun, isn't he? Right, so uh, we've got the other objects, so I can just go to object mode, click on those, and then probably just fill them in nice and easily, keep it nice and simple, text paint. Uh, I need to go look at the Discord and see how people are doing. So let's sample the mid color there and fill it in. Oh, missing textures. Now, now these haven't got the same material yet, have they? So uh, I'll just go back to layout mode to explain this. So um, this object, I set up the material for it, but these, although they've been unwrapped with this object, they aren't showing the same material. So we'll go to shading actually, it'd be easier to explain. So click on this one, we've got that material there, but these haven't got it. We need to therefore select both of these. This one last, so it's the active object. And what do I press to link the materials? So they're trying to link and borrow this material for themselves. So use this material. I'm going to call it um, Cornelius. Cornelius. That's probably spelled wrong, isn't it? But still. Uh, what if a game engine had its own lighting system? Would you draw those highlights too? Um, a little bit, a little bit, um, because there's always going to be a shadow under here. So yes, um, generally speaking. You can uh, still light with, it's like ambient occlusion, you can still light and add an ambient occlusion as well. Control L, you were there first. Uh, Ringer, is that right, Ringer? Uh, well done, gold star for you. Got to count up your gold stars at the end. Uh, so let's go uh, press Control L and then materials. And then it all turns yellow because the whole thing was filled in yellow, remember? They look a bit weird at the moment. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have to paint them a little bit. So back to text paint mode. And I can't remember what I got selected. So let's select this guy. Whoa, that filled it. <laughs> let's go back to object mode onto this one, text paint mode. Now, notice to switch, I've got to click on that one, go to text paint mode. And then if I want to change this one, back to object mode, click on that one, back to text paint mode. We can stop that happening by pressing edit and lock object modes. Then it will lock it in whatever it was in for before. And if I press alt, uh, left click, I think it is, yep. Uh, that now selects that object and whatever mode it was in previously. So alt left click that one, it's in object mode. If I change it to text paint mode, I can just alt left click. Now I'm on this one and now I'm on that one. Can you see them changing over here in the outliner? Alt left click. So if I alt left click on the boots now and I'm still in object mode, so I change that to text paint mode and then I'll be able to check paint the boots. And I think uh, we're going to fill them in with a dark brown, aren't we? Dark brown, somewhere around there. <laughs> Loving it. Too good. Too good. Um, how lighting would not highlight a 2D drawn thing properly? Yes. Ah, thanks very much, uh, Corey S. You must be in uh, look dev mode or render mode even with EV uh, for this to work. Interesting. They are slightly different, aren't they? Um, so look, yeah, um, sorry, when you go to texture paint mode, why, for some weird reason, it defaults to this solid color, which is really awkward. Uh, it needs to be in look dev mode. Thanks very much for reminding me about that, Corey S. Hopefully I didn't confuse too many people with that earlier. Um, okay, how are we doing? So we're almost at the end of the stream. Um, I'm going to just finish this guy off a little bit more. 
um, because it just looks hilarious to me. So let's, uh, on the shoes, with the drawing, I'm just going to give him a bit of shading. So I feel like he needs to go a little bit dark with the, the shoes, so we'll do the fill brush. Oh, it's gone really grey there, isn't it? About there? Yeah, about there, I think. They look like slippers, don't they? Let's uh, try a little bit lighter. About there. Okay. And then a screen. Now, interesting, the mirror doesn't seem to be working. And now have a think why the mirror might not be working. Okay, what haven't I done? I did it. I did something that worked earlier. No, that's a, um, what haven't I done? Why is the mirror not working? Uh, so I'm going to show you that it's not working properly. So let's... Yep, so why is that not mirroring to the other side, even though I've got mirror on? What's going on? What's going on? What could it be, people? What could it be? <laughs> uh, we'll be able to do a walk cycle animation, just move the feet up and down like this. Should be all right. Anybody know why it's not mirroring to the other side? The axes, yes it is. I'll give you a gold star anyway. You can have a silver star for that one. Um, but there's something, what do I do to solve that issue? It is indeed that. It's not the, it's not the, the one of these axes, no. Uh, but it sort of is. Oh, no one, no one's come up with it yet. No one's come up with it. Uh, if you did it with a geometric shape, you wouldn't nearly need the highlight, no. I mean, you, you could put it in any way to give emphasis on it, yes. Uh, you can do that. It looks a bit rubbish, my moustache, actually. It looks about okay from here. <laughs> uh, is it the modifier? It's, hey there, people have got it. Oh, I've stumped you all. I've stumped you all. What's going on here? Uh, what it is, if I go back to object mode. Apply rotation. Corey S has got it. You got it there first, just before tech, Techian. Uh, so both of you have a gold star for that because it was a harder question. Um, so uh, let's go to, I'll just undo my texture painting that I've done and then go to object mode, control A and reset the rotation because if we go to N, remember I did that tiny rotation to pull them, push them outwards? It's affecting the mirror point. So control A, rotation, that's back to zero, back to texture paint mode and I'm on screen so now I can, ah! Did I? That's <laughs> it's not working. That's weird. That is really weird. I don't know why that is actually. Do you know? I do, I'm stumped now. The rotation's fine. That should work basically. That's really odd. Oh, and it's mirrored, mirroring down there, so my pivot point must be off. Ah, I know what this is now. Okay, let's go back to object mode. There's one thing I haven't done. Uh, I've stumped myself there. Look, look, look where my um, object is. I need to right click, set origin, and then origin to geometry. Now it's in the middle. There we go. So we need to set the rotation and reset the pivot point to the middle. Oh, had me there. Minus, I, I've lost, I lost all my gold stars. I can't give any more out now. So I haven't got any more. I've lost them all. There we go. Do I get them back for being able to draw on there so I can get them out again? <laughs> Hello, dark side. Good to see you back. Origin point. Yes, AB, you get a gold star. Well done. You were there. It was the origin point. Okay, so I've um, got my screen on and I'll just uh, do a light touch of a highlight there. Uh, so he's got some funny looking shoes. Multiply. Uh, oh, that's not multiply. That's the wrong mode. Multiply there. I'll just make the bottom darker around here. Got quite a light colour though. And maybe a little bit in here. The, the reason I don't join them together is I, I can still paint like this without any um, big hassles. Uh, but if I if they were joined together, they'd be sort of overlapping and going onto the yellow as well. So there's no need to join them together. The arms look really green. So let's uh, go to object mode, back to them. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm in the edit mode, so I could just click on them and it'd be fine. But I need to go to object mode to reset that origin point. So right click. Set origin, origin to geometry, and it will be in the middle now, which is much better. So back to texture paint mode, and I need to sample this color because it's slightly different now, and I'm going to fill them in with that color now. That one there. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? And I don't know. It's, it's, it looks a bit weird. 
but I might have to sort of call it a day because Blender today is about to start and lots of people might want to go across to there, which is fair enough. But we can, we can go to the multiply brush and just give them a little bit of ambient occlusion on the arms. In there. There we go. He's looking kind of fun, isn't he? Cornelius, everybody. Cornelius. <laughs> so we got some weird looking monsters. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, let's just quickly have a look at the Discord and see how we're doing. Oh, there's lots of fun stuff. Wow, there's loads. Well done. Uh, Pedro S. Let's see yours. Hey, <laughs> that's really cool, isn't it? Nice work. I like that a lot. Uh, then we got, yes, sir. Oh, look at that. He's really cool. That's some good artwork, good skills there. Loving it. Uh, what's his name, though? What's his name? Uh, Michael Mellon? Something like that. Uh, Silver Fox. A very, uh, what's it called? Geometric. Loving it. Uh, Hercules Art. Look at him. Oh, it went a bit weird in here, didn't it? That's probably because you've got faces on top of each other. You might have extruded by accident, and then it sort of messed up a little bit. But it's it's a really cool model. Uh, Raw from Moik. <laughs> Excellent stuff. He's a bit he's a sort of a vicious grape. I'm liking it. Oh, look at this. That's really cool, isn't it? Acronym. That's, oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I think that's my favorite. Uh, platinum star. <laughs> really, really nice. Excellent work. I think just pull the ears in slightly more. Uh, well, no, maybe not, actually. It just looks really cool. Cool anime style. Yes, it's <laughs> that's what happens, isn't it? It's the worst thing. It's the worst thing. Uh, if you do get stuck like this, uh, and there's no reset, but you can join areas together. If they're the same size, these are the same width, so you can right click on it, join areas, and you get that arrow to join them together. Uh, you can do that, but it is an absolute nightmare. It's pretty funny. Uh, I like that. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Jojoba. Jojoba. Yeah, Jojoba. Hey, cool little hair things on him. <laughs> That's great fun. Loving it. Uh, we, we've seen Yes Sir already, haven't we? I think we have. Yep. Oh, he's, he's moved on. He's moved on. He's got arms now as well. Hey, that's cool. He's very shiny on here. So I always, um, I forgot to say that actually, didn't I? That I always bring the roughness right up uh, because otherwise you get a really shiny look like that. So I always tend to bring the roughness up. But actually a bit of, bit of shininess helps. Let's go to random mode, see what it actually looks like. There we go. Yeah, it's debatable. Uh, it's look, cool looking stuff here. I, it, I mean, my, my favorite, I think, is the cat, uh, but the watermelon one's really cool. Look at this one. Uh, <laughs> it's a really good idea. Loving it from Erwin, Sunny Ray. Gold star to you as well. We've got gold stars for everybody who's uh, posted. Definite gold stars. <laughs> I'm getting into the gold star thing now. <laughs> Red Dragon, oh, looking good, looking good. Uh, Lunar Lotus, <laughs> I'm very impressed actually that people uh, have managed to um, continue and, and make something out of this. Uh, WW Kayak, oh, what on earth is going on there? That looks really clever. <laughs> and uh, take take a screenshot; it's much easier. Uh, but Janaid Hussein seven five five, looking really cool. That's a really cool one, like that. Whoa, I thought for a minute that was the really early version of Blender, so 2.4 or 6 or something, I can't remember now, but uh, cool stuff. Well done to everybody. Can you make your own face as Ghost Rider face uh, in Blender? Uh, you could do. Uh, you could uh, project your own face onto a model and then put some flames on it. Could be cool. It does look plasticky when you go the whole roughness way. <laughs> it looks really odd. It looks like a weird mis misshapen M&M. &M. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed the stream. I certainly did, and we're having lots of fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it, uh, doing it like this. I, I, I hope you found it fun as well. Um, but yeah, I've, I've said that anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got any thoughts and... Um, uh, ideas uh, for the streams that you'd like to see. <laughs> There's quite a lot of lag today, so I think maybe YouTube is doing this on purpose to make sure that things are working, so they're giving a bigger buffer in case things cut out and stuff. Um, yeah, glad glad you enjoyed it. Uh, well, Samuel, uh, sorry, and Luna Lotus, the account, blah, blah. Yes, it is over now. So we, we managed to get to... Uh, 
uh, this point here hopefully and we got some little models uh, and they look quite fun depending on <laughs> what you think uh, there's one I drew earlier obviously and there's one I drew today which looks dreadful <laughs> uh, Red Dragon glad you enjoyed it uh, more like this session cool uh, well hopefully every Wednesday uh, we'll see how we go uh, Gary's mod oh did I forget to say about Gary's mod oh yes that's right so um, yeah I suppose for that um, it's a tricky one isn't it because um, I don't know a lot about Gary's mod I've sort of seen my students watching it and stuff before um, but I think uh, for portfolios it's tricky it is tricky but having said that if you if you make stuff for Gary's mod and you have fun put it in your portfolio you might get some work uh, but then change things as you develop and it, as you go into different areas with your 3d art and don't worry too much about it I think that's probably the best way uh, how to watch from the start you should just be able to go drag the slider back from the start but I will post this on my channel later on uh, live streams about the same start time each day pretty much but I'm not doing them every day I won't do one tomorrow for example I have done every day so far but uh, tomorrow I'm taking a break uh, Friday I'll be doing one at uh, it'll probably be about three on Friday I know that will overlap slightly with ben Blender today but I don't want to go too far from what I've been doing already and that's the character uh, making the character so I'll be doing that again on Friday. Uh, they are separate objects. Yep, you can make these separate objects and that's absolutely fine. Uh, next stream we'll be rigging the character. Maybe next week uh, we'll rig him and have a bit of a laugh with that. That'll be good fun. I uh, loved it, the interview with Derek. Cool. Yeah, he was very good, wasn't he? He had loads of great advice. Uh, it, in fact, well worth watching that if you haven't. The interview with Derek El Elliott. And he talks loads about... Um, uh, finding work and how how to price yourself and stuff it was really uh, it's absolute gold I would say so do watch it uh, thanks Jeffrey Suter <laughs> he's a very cool guy definitely <laughs> yeah free day just to do a hug hug Frank yeah uh, yeah exactly it's experience as well isn't it yeah quite right uh, Moosums. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to call it today. So do get across to the Blender today and see what they're up to. Can't remember what today's subject was actually, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be a good one. Uh, and uh, happy blending until Friday. I'll probably come out with a tutorial video tomorrow. What was I going to do tomorrow? I was thinking about some more hard surface modeling challenges, uh, but we'll see how we go. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to um, uh, get that um, working and find the best things to model. But well, I'll think of something. Uh, any any ideas and thoughts, then do put them on the Discord or in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Um, and at Grant, if it's on the Discord, then um, if you want to ask me any questions. Okay, uh, thanks very much. And I will, uh, if you want to join me on Friday, then I'll see you Friday. Otherwise, we'll do something similar to this next week. Uh, thanks again. And happy blending. <laughs>